Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the top 25 major players for the, what, what, it is, what is it called now? Just Major One? I think it's just called Major One. I'm really confused by the new uh, naming format for every, all the regionals and majors. They're not called regionals anymore. Anyway, I digress. Um, welcome to the top 25 for this, uh, for this season, the first one of this season. We've not done one for a while, actually. Um, but I'm back with uh, some of the usual suspects. We got Bates, we got Daz, we got CJ, we got Yummy, who's uh, looks like he's trying to set up his uh, <laughs> his background. Yummy, what is going on there? Is that is that Fruity and Snasky you've got? <laughs> oh, it's our favorite Danish people. There you it's go. Uh, obviously Fruity and Snasky. We're going to see them in Copenhagen, uh, and by we, I mean you. <laughs> That's that's muted. Brutal, We're muted. No, no, no. Uh, should, be good. Should, should be good. CJ, no, good morning. Have you finished your list on time? This, I, could, uh, I ha look, I had a problem where I was doing it on my phone in my notes mm. in bed, right? Okay. And I, I feel like I had 25 players. I just wrote 25 players down. Mate, I think it was 25, right? And I it just like going through the teams, you know, who I think I want in there. And then as I was rearranging it, every time I rearranged the list, I feel like I lost a player in the rearrangement on my notes because all of a sudden I had 24 and then I did another rearrangement. I had 22. So I, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on, but we'll see what happens. Dads are in, <laughs> uh, just finished unboxing. I think I'm missing players. Okay, uh, we'll, 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 we'll cycle back on that. Dads are in just finished unboxing like a million things. Um, he's he's just decided now's the time that he's going to, you know, start to do that. But Dads, <laughs> what have you got today? Anything exciting to show the stream before we get started? All right, class. So for my school project today, I brought G new Jinji merch. Wait, oh, <laughs> actually, I don't think I can actually show it because I. Oh, think it, he did that. He's done this on purpose. Uh, I think it's actually. I think it actually comes out tomorrow. So like, <laughs> I'll just oh, show it. <laughs> show it. Yeah, free advertising. Right, sure. Right, why not? Thank you, Jinji, for the merch. Hold on, I gotta make sure I don't back myself. Yeah, that's a good idea. Actually, didn't even think of that. This okay. This sweater is actually sick. Wait. What? Oh my god, you live in America? Oh my god, yes. All right, let me see what we got going on here. People are yeah, gonna think we're actually sponsored. We're not sponsored by Genji on my channel we're here. Not just FYI, Daz are sponsored by Genji is, though. This is gas though. I got. I like this one. Oh. It's got the mobile one on the sleeves. Wait. You're walking it's billboard. Got, Daz. It's, got, it's got a lot, man. Nice. You got yourself a. Uh, a nice ad sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, it looks more like a Mobile One jersey. It looks than more a like a Mobile One sweatshirt. Are you, you're really from uh, repping Mobile One, bro. Nice. Yeah, it's That's really like good. I'm really actually sponsored. Really so, oh my and then, days. You know, we got one of these. Oh, there's another mobile one. <laughs> Gen G just isn't that large. Maybe we there should is, work on that. That's a bit more like wow. a sports a sports jersey. But that was nice though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does it have the hoodie? I'm mean, not the hoodie, the collar. You copy Carmine? Yeah. Did they make that last second adjustment? I think they had it before Carmine. Oh, they did? Yeah, because I think the first oh. one had that too. Well, today okay. we're going to find out if Bates has anyone before Carmine and everyone else here. We're here to do top 25. Bates, welcome to the stream again. How are you doing, buddy? Thank you, sir. Uh, it's, good that, it's good to be here. It's always fantastic. And I know we're on the time. A lot of people have a lot of things to do. Everybody gets older, so let's get this thing going. Let's do it. I think we should do that. Um, before we get started with Rule 25, because uh, uh, every time I get confused here, I want to ask, does anyone get any honorable mentions they would like to mention? Now is the time to do it. Just jump in. I'll, I'll throw in Fever as my honorable mention as oh, the number one, one OC player. I like Fever too. Um, yeah, I've got one. Okay. I've got one. Um, I, I couldn't squeeze him in uh, this year, and, and, and he's always in my list, and this is going to really hurt, and this is going to maybe set the tone for my list this time, and it's the bear. The bear didn't make the it. The bear. Yep. That's a sad day. That's, right. That's depressing. That's a sad day. Uh, Daz and Bates, <laughs> any honorable mentions from you? I had Jay Naps uh, in mind. Jay Naps always been like a great land player when he's on land. Um, and fortunately, he was really close to making the cut, but he but it just just didn't work out that way. So I got Naps. I love my t I love I love my list of the talking. I don't need to talk about eight. You know, no honorable mentions. So I, I I was you know I thought about this. So I was like I could actually just not say what my honorable mention is, and then I think no one will even notice that I don't have him in the list, and I'll probably like, right. you know slide on by and not take any uh, uh any blame for it. But I'm 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 not going to do that. I'm just going to put it out there. Uh, my honorable mention, and I I always have him 
uh, high rated, but I think this time is the team's struggling. I've got CRR as my honorable mention, so I wanted to expose myself. Mm. I don't have them in the in the top twenty five this time because they've been they've been a bit uh, they've been struggling a bit uh, down in down in South America. But any any, any uh, it's true. Anyone else? Any comments? No, no last. This is the last chance. Mm -mm. All let's right, let's just do it. let's just do number twenty five. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I've just exposed myself. But anyway, let's see who we got here. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh! Look at what? this! Ooh! Look at this! A cheeky banana head from Bates. I never thought I'd see the day. That is special. I don't even. What color do I usually use for uh for? Is this Australia? the first? E yeah. Is that, is that don't you normally do here? green for OC? No, green is Mina. No, green is yeah, Mina. Green is Mina. I'm trying to find a good green. I'm not on the same like uh. I'm not on the same desktop, so these all look weird. Anyway, please talk amongst yourselves while I figure out. Is, what is this the I'm first time Bates has ever put an OC player on his list? That's not the first time. It's yeah, definitely the not. first time you've put an OC player on the list. And spoilers, I haven't put any any OC players on my yeah, list. Yeah, I didn't either. I could not. I could not possibly squeeze anyone on this list. It, this has to be the he most. Actually, stacked. Actually, in San Diego, he had super lucky at twenty four. I've had Super Lock, I've mm. had Amphis, I've had many of these OCE players before. I always give OC respect. I'm Mr. International for a reason. You're not. Oh, of course, okay. Banana Hat. <laughs> of course, Banana Hat makes the list. Um, Johnny, Johnny's already lost. He's got no CRR. He's got no Poe at 25. That's just, that's just like somehow, somehow, CJ, CJ, he's got the, he's got the own goaler special in himself in Redos at 25. But remember yeah, when I had yeah. Redos at 19, the world cried. Oh, no, 25 is crazy. <laughs> it's pretty. Uh, why? Yeah, go on, CJ. Wait, hang on. Uh, wait, wait, sorry. Are we saying that 25 is yeah, like is I shouldn't have had him? Is that what you guys are saying? No, no, no. no. Just pretty oh, okay. Low. You're saying this is way, this is 25's disrespectful. Is it is, is a bit saying. low. We'll have to wait and see how hard he's getting carried. Do you not see him going. at Worlds? Yeah, Zed and I, Alpha top yeah, five. Yeah, well, the greatest respect, Yummy. I think that <clears throat> this, this, could, this land could go one of two ways for Vitality. And that's that's uh, Redosan plays well, or Redosan's no longer on the team. And so I'm <laughs> gonna put him at I'm gonna put him at 25. Um, and I think he has to be on the list, but I couldn't really get him any lower. Um, but I think he actually went all right. You know, stats wise, he had a pretty good split. He's just a little bit. It's it's gonna be exciting to watch him. Wait, so if 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 he does well or is off the team, is 25 gonna put him off the team? Is that your what you're predicting? Um, oh, well, that's a good question, actually. Uh, I, th I think this is him doing pr actually pretty well, doing, doing enough to stay on the team. Mm -hmm. I think if he's yeah. off the list, he's off the team. So I've, I've kept him on the list. Uh, you did say it was a, a tough list. And I think I agree, but it's because it to me, there's like, for me, clear top teams. Yep. So it was really hard to like squish all of those players in and get, Maybe some of the other players that aren't, I'm not expecting to get top eight in there. Do any of you guys have real yep. one making top eight? Chat's, chat's furious at my, uh, my Nopo pick here. No, I don't. I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't have them. I don't them. think they're making top eight. I think they've been a bit, uh, they've been a bit, they've been struggling a little bit. I've been watching the Saudi E Leagues. They actually regained pretty well today in the Saudi E Leagues made final, but I don't think they're making top eight. And I feel like if they're not making top eight, I don't know if they're going to look that good. I think, uh, yeah, Nopo might be, I think he's, um, I'll just, I'll spoil it. He's the only player from real one I've gotten here. I think he's actually my only not top eight player I've got in here. I've just got everyone in the top eight. Uh, in, in, I, I, think, I feel like that's how it goes in Swiss. You just, uh, you know, I mean, you qualify or you don't. Mm -hmm. you're, 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 you're winning or you're losing. Enough. It's win, winning in, lo losing, you're, you're right. So I, I, I think he, he's going to look like the best player in the team, probably the best player who doesn't make top eight, but I don't think he's making top eight. Um, anyone else? We got Drofino here. We got CRR here. That's pretty close to where I had him. I had him 26, I suppose. But anyone else want to uh, comment on these before we reveal the next one? Yo, I mean, there's just terrible picks all around besides me, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, right. Let, let's let's see what we've got next. Oh, we've got a couple of similar names Ooh, here. We're all kind of... Uh, yeah. Look at this. Little mind meld with Drofino uh, showing up in a few places. We've got Nolly. I apologize to Daz. Great pick, Dazarin, honestly. Uh, I like that. Uh, okay, right. No. Ooh. Chronic at 24. Yeah, I'm not, mm, I'm not liking that one, Yummy. I'm not liking it. Uh, I'm sorry. I, you know, the, okay. I was just, okay. So I was looking, I was thinking, I've got like five teams top four. I've got two more teams. I'm clearly making top eight. 
There's one more slot. I do have Gen G making top eight, but uh, kind of this list, I kind of more looked at placements and then place people in. Uh, mm. I, I like that, Yummy. No, it's respectable. Than- and and I think that the people, once again, the people that are saying, what's going on? This is crazy. What are you doing? Make your own list. Because by the time you write <laughs> down like the four EU teams and G2, perhaps, you've got about 18 players. Oh, you've got 15, yeah. but you've already you're already <laughs> all the way through your list. And it's like, what what's going on? I've just done the top teams. Um, so If yeah. you've got all three it's- players in the list, then you're like a guaranteed top eight team yep. at the major. Yeah. And if you make top eight, you can always go further on, but yeah. Nolly in for, uh, for T-Bates. I'm curious if Nolly's going to be the only OG player in here, or will there be more appearances from OG? I don't want to spoil anything just yet, or you know, try and encourage you to spoil anything, Bates. But yeah, what's Nolly, what's Nolly doing at the major? I mean, I guess 24, 25 is the average. So is he having an average major, or is this a good, good performance? What do you reckon? Uh, I mean, he's just a solid land player. Know what he does? Major champion. Um, I think he was the best player for that Gen G squad back in that World Championship. Gen G had already made the decision to get rid of get rid of him though. Move move on from him. So nothing you could do there. Uh, and also, first kill is a better player. So I guess there's nothing you could do there. Again, also went to the um, the flip and spin. Just hopped on the team here Finley Finley and Vati. You know, did what he does. Won that as well. Um, he's just a land player, man. He's a land player. That's what he does. He's one of the best assist men in the game. One of the best set of men and OG, they've rebounded. I think in large part because of him, and you know what he brings to the table. And I expect him to um, bring that same level um, at the land. So I got Nolia 24. Very interesting. I think we need some more evidence here. We need to get some more comparisons. So we're going to rattle through a couple at the start. All right, let's see what's happening next. CRR popping up again. Interesting. Uh, that's quite a lot of CRRs. Fever. For T Bates, wow. this is, this has to wow. be the most love that you now given. now now wow, hang on a minute. Who has paid you from my region? We don't have the <laughs> funds to be able to blackmail people into putting on lists. All right, so was it Team Power? Did they do it? Was it Lockdown? No way. No, no, I mean no, no. So nobody, who, nobody who are you paid me. Missing? How did you get all these guys in here? What is going Trust on? Me, I got I got everybody in here. I got everybody I need. Who needs to be in here? In here. I feel fever, banana head. I mean, listen. Uh, you know they bring to the table. CJ, CJ has been on record saying that this is the best OC team ever. I mean, maybe not. That he he didn't he didn't say that they're gonna get the best OC performers ever. That's still the lowest of the Chiefs. He didn't say that they're gonna get top four. But he's on on record saying it's the best OC team ever. I respect that. I give a lot of pride. Uh, I get a lot of credence to that. To my cap to that. They also went perfect in OC. Nobody in OC touched them. I think that means something. I think also that they've been boot camping already, already putting in the work, already putting in the grind. I think this power team can do some de- serious damage over here at, at the major. I really do think that they might be able to get top eight. I think they're. I think it. I said on earlier on first touch. I said that um, if they do anything less than a two two, and, and they don't make it to that round five Swiss, I, I would call this Atlanta failure for them. No, most de- most definitely. Um, agree. and then depending on the matchup, uh, in the two two game, uh, I think they could make that top eight. So I believe in the fever, believe in banana head, believe in the boys from power. I, I like it. I don't mind it. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. You swung it. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I think I'm going to mind who you've left out, but I don't mind the, the love for power. I think that they are a good, a good team. It's hard to know because I think OCE as a whole does look a little bit uh, weak, but they look really good. So nobody nobody really challenged them, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Yummy and CJ, I think that's that's kind of correct. Yeah, it's hard to know real, where they really fit because pretty much all the teams below them, as much as they dominated, the teams below them didn't look so great, even mm-hmm. against each other. And even, even I'd say, first regional in particular, power did not look great. Um, they got better as the regionals got on. And I do think they'll get a lot better at the boot camp. It's just uh, whether they can make that top eight or not is whether they'd be on the, on the list. And, you know, that goes down mm-hmm. to matchups, who you end up in that fifth round. I agree with Bates. Like they it. should be going fifth round. Yeah, I, I, I agree. agree with that. All right, let's There's keep... too many agrees going on, by the way. No, we need to get some controversy. Well, it, it, well it's, it's controversy. I'm just nothing... ignoring. I'm just ignoring some of these picks. I mean, I see Abjack at 23, so I'm just going to kind of like act like it didn't what's happen. Wrong, what's wrong with that? Yeah. Abjack's, a, <laughs> Abjack's a good player. I think he's going to be in the top half of the players at the line. I, I think leaving him out would be ridiculous. What are you talking about? I agree. I agree. I think leaving him out would be a little, would be a little insane here. Um, I'm assuming the other two for the team must be on the list as well. So I'll let it cook. I'll let it marinate for now. Interesting how you have Abjack as the lowest player on their team now. Yeah, I think he, you know, he's, uh, it might, it's, it's, it's really hard to rank, you know, the support. I feel like this, you know, it's not support players, but you know what I mean? They always end up being lore on these lists, 
whether or not they should be because yeah they, they just you know they do a lot more like off the ball and you know the the, the intangibles app jack like you know when i watched the comms video of the recent win i was really impressed but you can't really i don't know if we can really put that into this or i'm not i'm not going to do that personally and be like okay you're saying yeah. he's the glue yeah, yeah. If he's if he's the glue, like does that? I'm not going to be like, yeah. This player, I heard their comms video, so I'm putting them higher. No, I, 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 we won't be able to know that until after the event. So based on like just the on field, you know, visual impact, that's where I think he's he's going to be. But uh, yeah, I, I think they've got a shot. Depending, it's all bracket dependent. I feel to see if any of these teams are getting top four. Um, but yeah, quarterfinal matchups can be huge in Swiss into single, as we know. But I don't think they're I don't think they're a top four team. For me, at the major, so I can't, I can't put the, can't put them overall too high. Yeah, okay. yeah, I, I think that, I think that Chronic was the worst player this split on Gen G. Um, not saying that he was bad. I just think mm. I think Jack was Jack was pretty good. So, um, I've I'm got gonna, I, I've got Jack above Chronic in my list. But I, I, I think I think Jack above Chronic at LAN yeah. is is the right move for me. But yeah, yeah, I'm just I'm like. Just curious that when when did, when does Chronic ever outperform Jack on the land? I think I think this time you know Jack's role in the team is going to be a bit more. Oh, yeah, you think it's just, changed because of the FK? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I think I, I think Jack's just gonna, this is where he's going to look for me because uh, yeah, on this team Jack doesn't really have to do as as much. I think he's playing a new role in the team and uh, yeah, just feeding Chronic and First Killer. And uh, why wouldn't you when you got Chronic and First Killer in the team? But you know, if Chronic and First Killer are scoring a, like a, a lot of the goals and uh, you know, getting a lot of the clips. I, I think people will probably agree afterward after the event that that's you know they were the the two standout players. Then you'll watch, then we'll watch the comms video and be like, ah, okay, yeah, Jack's actually doing more than we thought. But I, I feel like that I can't write. I, I don't know. I don't include that uh, aspect when I'm do, doing these lists. It's too like too hard to rank because we don't we only have that for some teams, not others. I don't know. What about lost at twenty three though? What's happening with Furia? Does that mean Drafino, Doctor Ufi didn't make the list? As what is no. this? That doesn't. Ooh, okay, you know, okay. right now it doesn't. Mm. See, I think I I've seen people in chat. I've seen everybody say, uh, "Why wow, Lost? He's the best player." That's sh like Lost is very very good. Probably one of the best, if not one of the, like the best in Sam right now. But when it comes down to land performances, I don't rate Lost in land performances really too well. He's definitely struggled in that department, and I still think that he's better than half the players. I think Fear is going to do really well, but. I think that when it comes to like land, the other two shine a lot more. So I have lost low here for right now, but I don't think it's a bad place at all. Worlds twenty two, twenty three though. Lost that lost was scary. So he's got he's got the land dog in him if he brings it out. That's true. true. He does. All right, let's see what's happening at twenty two. Um, who, who have we got here? Let's uh, let's find out. Okay. That's a good question. Interesting. Let me just start coloring these in while we figure out what's happening here. Wait, I've messed that up. Hold on. It's juicy. Oh, I'm all red now. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just, uh, I mean, I saw I saw a player in TBS list, and I just, I think my brain just automatically colored it red. But yeah, it was actually LCD players. There we go. Finally got it right. That took way longer than it should have. Um, I honestly, I don't, I don't really mind it. It's, yeah, don't mind it. Everyone, everyone has a different. No. Different uh, gentle mates player. This is interesting. You've so, done yeah, well yeah, to you, fit you. T baits. You've done really well to fit OG and Power on your list. So I'm just not <laughs> sure what large team <laughs> you're yeah, omitting <laughs> from the list because that's uh, incredible. Um, um, I, what's, what's wrong? I'm not sure. uh, well, I just think that <laughs> there's some teams you probably have to put on there i.e players you have to put on there and you're running out of room by putting og and power on there that's all i'm saying oh, no, i know i never run out of room i got plenty of i got plenty of real real estate here i got another 21 <laughs> picks to go you got more room, got more room than us you got that much room brother he's gonna keep going above one he'll be a zero or minus one i have 21 more picks to go um 
I might have done something spe- special in one of these picks. You never know. I might have seven players all in one line. I might have put seven people as number one. You don't know what well, I Well, I feel like your first four picks have been special. So, I mean, how special could it be? <laughs> <laughs> listen, I'm I'm fun. Fun. listen, somebody, somebody here has got to be accurate. I keep telling y'all. I told you on first touch. I moved on from being Mr. A and now Mr. International. I keep trying to let y'all know. This, I, is I respect your way, game. this is your way of like getting EU players out the list. Is like sneaking in OCE players and try, trying to seem international. <laughs> So we don't we don't realize that you don't have like I bet Juicy and Redosan aren't in here or something. You just have you've ca- you know casually forgotten them. You think leaving them out is going to get you off the hook rather than putting them low. That's it. I know your tricks. That's what he's up to. <laughs> well, Ty next makes a good point. He probably doesn't have any gentle mates players on here. Yeah, I'm just saying. Think anybody from the Florida from Heaven team is going to make my list? We'll have to see. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy how one goal has completely shaped your opinion of gentlemates and everything that they've done this entire split. Oh, exactly. Yeah, that's crazy how one goal has completely shaped the world's entire opinion on gentlemates. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> I don't, I right don't think that. it has, though. I think the, the rest of the world is looking at some other gentlemates results and uh, seeing a team that are pretty much fourth best in EU pretty clearly. I think, I think T-Bates needs to do an, uh, a gentlemates versus power show match at LAN, something mm-hmm. like that. Wait, didn't they I play each other in that bracket earlier tomorrow? I think I think I tried to pick them. Yeah. Hour, but, uh, yeah. But, uh, the rest of the, the rest are, oh yeah, but then the chat voted gentlemen to a power because Wave went power with me. Ugh, that was terrible. I need another vote. We had common sense in the chat for once. All right. I think uh I think we can move on. I think we can keep going. We can see what else we've got here, because everybody else is seemingly okay, following the Ooh. following the program. Okay, okay. Let me see the little switcheroo. Um, there you go. Did we put some blue on there? Oh, okay. Oh, you're not. Did you just see the 70 finals? Didn't you just get 21? 21? 21? <laughs> 21? <laughs> 21, Johnny, your list like Johnny. I've been letting you slide, but so far you got no, you got no CRR. You got Drew, Drew at 24. You got New Poe at 25, mm-hmm. and then you got your boy RW. Now he literally just won the MVP of the Saudi E League tonight, <laughs> like less You've than three hours on ago. Your region. And you got yeah. him at 21. I I expect him to be the you know the lowest player uh, at this line from Falcons because that's you know when mm. when they play RLCS yeah, well. lines, I think Kalir's kind of in the past has been. The more consistent player and TRK, best uh, yeah, best player from Mina all time when it comes to LAN performances. So I think you know he's gonna just uh, like a, like I said for Appjack, he's gonna be just to get against the competition in Mina right now. They can all get in offense and absolutely dominate everyone. I don't think they're gonna do that on LAN though. I think uh, Rawas is gonna be sitting back a little bit more. Um, and that's not, uh, that's a good explanation. Yeah, against international competition, I don't think they're gonna do what they did today in. Uh, in the Saudi E-Leagues. But yeah, they're, they're undefeated this whole split. They've won all three regionals and they just won Saudi E-Leagues without dropping a series, unless I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So they, yeah, they're, they're on a crazy run in Mina. But um, yeah, I, I, I've uh, I've not got rule one rated as high as, well, I mean, they're outside my top eight. So uh, yeah, Falcons. I can't put, well, where, where am I putting Rawas? If I'm putting him, if I'm putting him the lowest out of the three, then man, they must be like going to the final or something because I don't think they're, I, I think they're like a team with a shot at going semis with the right bracket. That's where I've got them. It's all, it all depends who's dodging the big, uh, you know, the Carmi Corps, the BDSs for me. Even Vitality, I think you got to dodge those teams in the quarters to get that fourth semi-final spot. Um, I think, uh, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll explain it later on, but uh, I'm going the other way than that with you than you are with that with Roas. So. Okay, okay. I was expecting Daz to have Gen G higher. I will, I'll be actually honest. This true. is the, his Connie's chance anyway. to actually rate them incredibly high. You can't put higher. them no higher than that. I think that's fine. I think well, that's a great start. I think that's a. Good I, I think it's start. a good spot. You know, I think it's a, a nice spot. But you know, I was just expecting yeah. you know top fifteen for all three, maybe. Top 15 for all three? Listen, it'll make sense at the end. Don't worry. Top 15 for all three? That had to be propaganda. From Daz. <laughs> from Daz. Yeah. I'm, going, I'm just going like... Propaganda. Hold on. I'm going to put this dang on. <laughs> on real quick. Y'all go what? ahead. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, He's getting changed. All right. See, so wait. <laughs> One thing I, I... See, when I look at my list in its entirety, I, I'm not... I'll, well, you'll see at the end. The players above, like in my top 20, are really good. This is a stacked top 25. So like when I see really yeah. good players at the bottom of, the, of my top 25, 21 through 25... 
I, it makes sense when I say when I look at the whole thing and I see who's above them. And then I look, I'm looking at your list, teammates. I'm like, how, how, where, where, who did you? You've left out some players here. What is going on? Because you can't <laughs> get you can't get some of these players in at top 25. You just can't. Look how stacked my 21, 25 is. I'm telling yeah. you that the top 20 is even better. Look at this guy. Look, he just comes back in. That was fast, actually. Not. Yeah, it's not right bad. Yeah, to... usually in the past, the context, <laughs> I've always that? like gone, okay, this is this guy's going to be absolutely carry. And you look at like eight of those people, you put them in the category, and then you have like you know the rest. But like I kept going down the list. I'm like, oh my god, this guy's going to carry all the way down to like 15 in this list, and then everybody else had to be huge quality just to make it into the tw top 25 this time. So it just feels like individual players are better now in this season. All right, shall we? Guys, oh wait, no, good. Please, please can, continue. I'm just, I just need to talk. Like, can we talk about the merch for a second? Like, at what point is Gen G is is actually they need a name change? It's Mobile One Gen G Racing. They're, yeah. they're, they're really struggling. <laughs> Every single piece of apparel just has Mobile One. Boom! And then like Gen G, like sort of tight. Even in the corner on the front of your T. Look at this, Dad. Look at the front of your T-shirt. Even the Gen G part still has Mobile One racing on it above Mobile One. <laughs> so they couldn't even just have Gen G by itself. It is. Anyway. It's it says I mean, Mobile uh, One twice. That's ridiculous. It says Mobile right. One twice on the front. I'll show, you what, I'll show you what merch is supposed to look like. So see? So it has G2. And see, that's clearly okay. one of the biggest <laughs> things on it with the Herman Miller yep. thing. And uh, it got the stride GG. It's in the middle. Nice and small, but it's there. So I know nice. this is G2. You, oh, it's just like uh, CJ said, it's just Mobile One. Yeah, that's why, <laughs> exactly what you just said is why we outsell you guys on merch. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> like, oh, 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 what is that? I don't know. This one, you know, definitely very clear. The team, I don't know if you knew the name of the team, it's called JNG Mobile One Racing. I'll say it again racing aesthetic theme with the team name all over. No question what this is. And it looks clean. I can wear it outside without being called a nerd. That's all I gotta say, man. Yeah, there's gonna call you. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get a fossil oh, fuel you, 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 the, the, <laughs> you get you get you get an ad, do you get do you do you get a discount on mobile one? Do you get your gas from mobile one? Somebody's gonna add, on? yeah, you you you're gonna go to the uh, I'm the, under the NDA, I can't disclose that information. Someone someone's oh, wait, gonna oh, ask no. you to fill it up. They'll be like, Here, bro, bro, can you fill her up? And you'll be like, I don't work here. Like, you gotta be careful. <laughs> you <with joking>. <laughs> <laughs> No, I went to the NASCAR race. I went to a NASCAR race because guess what? Mobile One sponsors a race car driver. I went there and everybody was like, man, that's a great jacket, man. That's That jacket's amazing. I need to give me one of those like those. I don't really see them saying that about G2 jackets. You guys even have jackets? Well, at the NASCAR I don't race. Think you guys <laughs> but... have jackets. Well, why you say you guys? I'm not associated. I'm not G2 teammates. Well, then I don't know why you're trying to promote the merch thing. Because that one, that is just the merch. I was just, I, I was just, that was just the was just the most recent jersey I added to my collection. So it's still in this room with me. Yeah, I, I feel closet. like I got better G2 merch in the closet. Oh, you think so? All right, let's move All on. Right. We got to cook. We gotta, <laughs> yeah, we're getting a bit, we're getting sidetracked here, but we're, yeah, we're on good pace here. We're going, to, we're good pace. Let's keep it going. <clears> Top <throat> twenty time. We've got another Rawas. Who roast? Who, <laughs> Dazrin 20. better not roast me for Rawas twenty one. Of course not. Night. I said you had a great explanation. Thank you. And because Clear's I number twenty as well. Come on, like this is a. Uh, why, why am I getting called out for Rawas twenty one when we got Clear's and Rawas at twenty? Now, CJ, going the other way. I see what you mean now. Um, yeah, again, I exploded on you at 21, and then I and then I took another look at my list, and I realized I had Kalu's at 20. I, look, I've gone <laughs> the other way. I think at LAN, um, I, I I just think defense wins wins championships, and I think I think Rawas is going. And, and again, I think it's hard to just say, oh, Rawas is just the defensive part of the team. Um, he he was number two on the team uh, throughout the split. Uh, yeah, stats wise, he had more assists than Kalu's. Um, obviously, more saves. And, and pretty close in, in goals per game. So he's still the uh, same goal participation as Kalir's. Um, I, I think it, he, he's just doing a bit more work defensively. Um, and I think that I'm honoring that by putting uh, Rowass a little bit above. But when you look at the team averages, it's looking pretty good. Four Falcons. We st okay. We still don't have Mina or Sam in Bates' list. And... Uh... I think we're at the point now where we probably have passed the mark where anyone else could have an OCE player in their yeah. list. Uh, so Bates is the only OCE uh, stand here, and he has two of them. I love it. It's That's what, right. what universe are we living in here? This is uh, not what I expected coming into today. But uh, yeah, Daz at, at Rawas at 20, 
um great choice fantastic stuff uh you know now put 24 cr yeah great honestly some great selections here coming out daz i've got to give you your props thank um you, thank nothing you. honestly this has probably been the most agreeable top 25 through 20 we've ever done um it's it's tough to, to order it but i also uh, feel like that makes it easier to see other people's kind of reasoning you can put one player above above another a lot easier this time mm -hmm. um which is also why I put Juicy. You know, if I was impressed with Juicy at Worlds. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna have a great land. Unfortunately, I, I don't know if Gentle Mates get better than a top eight because it's a tough competition. But we'll see. It is mm. tough. And anyway, we we can probably move on here. Anyone else got anything uh, about twenties? We're we're absolutely steamrolling this. I, th I think this might be the fastest yep. ever. Beautiful. But I think it's because T base has gone with a different strategy. Instead of putting like all the EU players ranked 24, 25, they're just not on the list. So we're going to have to wait until the end. We need to get there and save some time to talk about this. All right, let's see. Kaleers at 19. I swear, you, you, you just came at me for a WAS at 21. What are you guys doing? You've all got, mm. you've all got a Falcons player at 19 at 20. What's wrong with my 21? I can't believe it's it. It's outrageous, 21. It's pure disrespect, Johnny. <laughs> um, and, and someone that's a, a meaner stan as well. Yeah. Uh, and we you're just, also just going to be wrong. That. Like that's that's the simple part of it is that Rawas is going to be uh, much better. I just think, than I just think if uh, Falcons could do what they do, I mean they're going to need that defensive starboard in the back of the line to really hold it down because they, they, these offensive teams are going to be shooting on them a lot. They're coming for them every single game, and I think if Falcons are going to play super phenomenal, it's going to be more on Rawas more so than Clears cooking up front. I don't know. I awesome. feel like Kaleer's like uh, I need to give him his I need to give him his flowers because I think I think the first time I did I I can't remember if I had Kaleer's or Was higher. I think maybe I had them together first time we did a ranking with them. But um, yeah, I think Kaleer's has just been the better player on land uh, RLCS. So I've got to, I think I just got to put him higher until I see a Ruas outperform it. But it's possible. He's definitely got the potential. I think uh, Kaleer's maybe has a bit of an easier play style to do on land. He just he just goes, whereas Ruas has to be a bit more careful when he goes. So Harder to make those decisions under pressure, maybe. Um, I, I don't mm. mind it. I don't mind it. I think, I, the, honestly, I don't mind any of these, except maybe Drally. Drally 19. Yeah, dra Drally that's is. a low Drally for, for you, Dazzer. Uh, you know, I like the fact that you said it's a low Drally, because I've seen a little bit of debates in the chat. They don't know where, where to put Drally. Some people are saying it's too high. Some people are saying it's too low. I like Drally at 19 just because it's his first event. And yes. at the same Total. time... And at the same time, when Drolly was also in his first finals with BDS in this what split, the experience was the difference maker in some crucial matchups. <laughs> We're talking those six, game sevens against uh, Thank Kikor, you. for example. I think <laughs> he's agreeing with me a little too much. But I think that for me, I don't want to set my expectations too high for Drolly just yet. I think doing better than half the players is just good enough for me. Uh, sitting at 19 is a great spot. And I think uh, there's also room for the other two. But I do think that like I really like Drolly right there. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, I've got him next up. Uh, so can we get the next one? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like game, game seven for me. Uh, you know, your prediction of like <laughs> first event always feels like to me it predicts how you'll do it in your first land, like first regional event that is. I think Drolly's been great from the first event going game seven against Carmine Court. But uh, game seven, uh, he he. I can't see him being landy. But, but that's first KC, though. He's not going to do that against anyone else because no one else is taking them to Game 7. Maybe Vitality, but they're not going... Like, everyone else they're going to beat before Game 7. So, Drally's Game 7, like, nerves won't even be a factor. Except for us, KC, Vitality. Well, I, I maybe, think... Maybe, I don't know, some other teams. Just I don't know. when I look I at BDS... So. Um, Daz, sorry to just just no, hijack your drally pit, but I just I just think that I, I've I'm got more confidence in Monkey Moon, got more confidence in Exotic, uh, with the land experience, and I've mm -hmm. I've seen them perform well on land. So, um, and I've seen Drally look nervous. Like it's not like he's a, he's not a robot. Um, he's he's still a still a young fella. So, um, yeah. I think that's still a good pick. It still means he's going to play well. I mean, you guys have a Wasset at twenty one, and we're we I mean, Johnny, and but then it's, you're it's, putting you it's Drally BDS, on it. That's pretty good. It's, it's BDS, you know. It is BDS. A different level, I feel. I think that they've been right there with KC. Well, they're the closest team to KC, so I think they've got to put. I've got. To, I've got you to think, think so? they're going to be better. Yeah, yeah. I think. Well, be, they're the closest team in EU. The, yeah, which is essentially mm. like synonymous hey, with the awesome. world right now. When you're talking Rocket League international competition, like <laughs> not it's the team same power. Thing. Uh, but yeah, BDS. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Right now, yeah, I think BDS, right now in the world, I've been close to uh, to 
to Casey. That's obviously speculation to a degree, but I don't think it's a hot take. I think it's a freezing cold take. Uh, well, who, who do you think is closer to Bates? Uh, just so we can clarify. I also think Vitality is really close to Casey as well. Um, but um, I mean, oh. obviously you have obviously you have G two. I do think as well that Gen G is there somewhere. I think as well that Falcons and Fury are up there somewhere as well. Uh, yeah, but Jury but more closest out on Fury. Though, if you had to pick what? Maybe if you don't want to say it to keep the if I had you know, to pick who's yeah. the closest is? Yeah, who's the closest to KC? If you have to, if, but if you don't want to spoil the rest of your list, you don't have to answer that. I don't want to. I spoil. mean, I think that's the obvious answer that I need, that doesn't that can go unstated. Okay, yeah, we'll leave it. At, we'll leave it at that for now. We don't. Want to, we don't want to spoil too much uh, for those who didn't know what that means. But let's let's get, reveal the rest of the 18s. What's my 18 looking like? We've got a raised bullet here. Whoa! Whoa. What? What Disrespectful. Um, <laughs> now, what's going on there? Got the ball on your list? No, I might not have the ball. On. Exactly. Oh, yeah. You're, you're, you're no not, you're ball or bear. <laughs> You're, you're oh, not, you're not, you're not, like I said, CJ, CJ, what's happened is you got on the EU broadcast and your eyes, they've gotten a little wishy washy. All you do is watch EU nowadays. You're not taking out the rest of the world, but trust me, I am. And Ray's Bull, he's still that guy. The, the, the size of the man, the girth. Just how powerful he is. What? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. No. Okay. No. No. There's Shut many words. There's many words that we can use. To describe the ball on broadcast <laughs> or on a Twitch stream. That's not one of them, bro. But the that's G word ain't it. That's not one of them. We need to hold back <laughs> on the G word. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I mean, he's no. just, so he's good at, he's just he's a good at man. penetrating the defense, is what you're saying. Okay, you're oh, taking it too far. I don't need no... You're taking it too far. I don't need any here, okay? What Yeah, I mean, he's just a land player, man. I, 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 I know complexity. I got slapped by Fury twice, or I guess technically... It'd be three times. It's like I, I think, think they lost five times now to. Is it five times total? Yeah, three in Dang. Swiss, two they in are... bracket. Okay, yeah, so they got slapped a lot of them. But in 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 the um, in in general though, uh, I mean complexity. Rays Bull and CRR all last year were really good on land in my estimation. I think they'll continue that. I think the question mark for them is Dorito. Um, but also even then, I think that Furia they have the number at least online. Um, and you expect complexity to still do what they did last year on, on land, at least. I mean, they were always good. They played against Vitality uh, multiple times really good. They played against some of the best teams in the world multiple times um, very, very well. And they would lose game fives and game sevens a lot. And the Bull was a big part of that. So until proven otherwise, the Bull is still going to be a big part of that. And that's why he's got to be on the list. So for you, the results of lands like Spring and Worlds do matter when it comes to Ray's Bull. But when it comes to EU, it doesn't matter at all. And the, it, it's irrelevant. We should forget No, no, about no, 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 no. I mean, it, I mean it's, it's the res it, Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it matters for everybody. But, it, but also the results matter, but also the individual performance. I don't think Ray's Bull hasn't played bad once. He's always been good. Now, he, now could he be better? Of course. But he's always been good. Good to great. And I think that he's all, and then I think that, until, like I said, until proven otherwise, until he just absolutely falls off, or there's legitimately 25 people who are just better and better than him on land performances, et cetera, then I mean, offer me to pick against him. Uh, we're, we're, I, I want to yeah, we, we need to cycle back on that like uh, st statement when we find out. I, I'm still, I, I can't wait to see who you've left out, basically. That's where we're getting. I need to know who's played unbelievably yeah. well on land last year and has been left out. Um, but I think, yeah, the uh, mm -hmm. Durfino above, well, okay, Dazarin's Furia starting to make a, little, a bit more sense. I feel like, you, yeah, for uh, most people, we've probably got the other way around, but okay, well, Durfino, I don't mind it. Durfino's a good player. And Yummy's got, yeah, Naipo up at 18. That's high, that's pretty high, Yummy. Yeah, um, yeah awesome. I have them, I have them like going, going fifth round kind of area, not making top eight, wow. but Nepo, Nepo showing up big in that one. So, mm -hmm. uh, Probably a carry on from the fact that I I was the one who put Nepo in my top twenty five players before he'd even played a season, so I'm a big believer in him. We'll see see how he goes. All right, let's let's, let's get go. number seventeen on the board, shall we? Okay, whoa, 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 what is going on here? We got mm. a bunch of them spawning wow, surprising in. Surprising for me. Um, 
<laughs> oh, snap. There he goes with a bull jive, bro. There he goes. There he goes with a bull jive, man. First that makes G no sense. That makes, player. that makes no sense. <laughs> what? So tell me. I think that's, I'm, that's higher than I expected Johnny Boy to have it, considering okay. he's kept them G2 at number five. In his rankings, the entire split, the fact uh -huh. that they've got three players in the top 17, that's mm -hmm. pretty big, I'd say. I mean, that's great. He's ahead of Jack. He's ahead of Chronic. When you look at who the players in his as, own as, region as, that he's ahead of. Every single time. No, yeah, every, I mean, not every time, but this time. Where, yeah. I think it's every time. I don't think I've ever seen anything from Chronic. Or, I understand they're major champions. They had a better well, team. Appjack um, like fought fall maybe when they won the whole thing, uh, possibly. That's like the that's like the only time he's ever been near a to level. Other than that, he's just like. I feel like I feel like G two had a pretty uh, like uh, pretty iffy season last season, and Jack was better than Atomic for the entire thing, and Chronic was probably better than him for most of it as well. I I, I mean now Atomic's getting it getting it back together. He's got a better team, so. Um, I'm putting them higher. Yeah, I think they've they've earned it. They're the best team in NA, and I don't think 17 is low at all for for Atomic. Again, when you see the players above, you'd be like, "Yep, that that's fine." None of the none oh, of these players me. are bad. I've players. seen the players above. I haven't <laughs> seen your list, but I know who's above. And trust me, uh, it's not 17 names better than that man. It's a little low. 16. It's bad. 16. Oh, yeah. 16. They're, they're right, at 17. Bad. Yeah, you're right. That's why I got me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still worried that T-Bates has completely miscounted his list um, based on what we got so far. Uh, now, by the way, T-Bates, that's a great pick. That's a great pick there. And um, I was actually going to argue that I might have put him too low. Um, and I, I always get confused. Low is low like like seven, like down, going down towards one. That's low, isn't it? Or is that high? Oh, no, low in the list is 25. Yeah, high, high is one. Yeah, we're, we're okay. I think I, I I think I put him too high um, because I don't have rule one making the top eight, and uh, I, I think okay. this guy might be my only top eight player or non top, non -top eight, eight player. player. Yeah, and I've I've whacked him instead just because I think we're just gonna. It, it just he just makes my brain explode sometimes uh, when he's when he's doing stuff, and I think he's gonna pop off at land, but I don't think he's got the. I don't think the team is quite there at the moment. Rule one. To do I think a lot of us don't quite have them top eight, and everybody now has Nepo on their list. So mm -hmm. that's the, the level of respect he gets. If he's yeah. if he's on a team right. that's expected to do well, he's like top ten minimum. You know, right? All right, let's um, let's see what we got coming up next here. Number sixteen. It's a good question. Here they are. Got some oh, Seikos synergy. Wait, CRR. Oh, whoop. Wait, the land player. What? Oh. It's there's what just really based on his raised ball pit. Yeah. There's just really no blue in in Bates' <laughs> list. It's either all of it's, it's a top heavy blue land, or there really are just a lot of them missing. That's interesting. <laughs> That's oh, interesting. man, I actually actually I was debating between CRR and Ray, raised ball. I wanted to put them next to each other, but uh, but then I wanted to put new point in somewhere, so then I wanted to just split it up. Yellow, <clears> yellow <throat> green, yellow, yellow, green, yellow. I wanted a little bit of. But a it's it's a good here. list. If you didn't watch any of Sam in this first split, um, <laughs> and I think that I think complexity got through just by being a solid team, but I don't think any of them really do, any, do anything crazy. They um, upset Fury in the first event, and then, well, I mean, at the time it wasn't really an upset. They beat them, I should say, and then they lost. Well, they lost five times to Fury throughout the split. I think they went zero and one against NIP. I think they they lost their only match mm. against NIP, who finished third. So they look like yeah, closer to third than first. They're like Fury looked like by far the best team in Sam. So this complexity, faith is admirable, but um, based on current results in in Sam, I don't think I don't think likely. Personally, you'll, you'll, you'll see mm. what I'm boil. I need to pull up uh, like I just like ah like that. See the question mark with complexity right now is they is they. He picked up the Rito. I, I just, I, I think that might be the issue. I don't know. We'll go see on Lando. I can I get really really see coming into the split. I like if you if this is a start of split list, it would make sense. Like CRR sixteen, Rays Bill eighteen, but they've been losing a lot, so I feel like you got I, you can't just leave them where they are. Well, for me, I would really but. poorly like, rated as a better well. Team, Barry is better than them. Um, their stats have not have not been. I just think that they the the first regional one, like F Fury, if they're on, they just beat Complexity. I don't think Complexity do anything. To beat teams, they're, they're kind of like the the rule one. Um, they're the rule one of Sam. I yeah, think they kind of just right now, they kind of yeah. just hang out 
And sure. if, if the other team overcommits, if Falcons or, you know, Fury, they're not playing on their game, then they'll beat them just because they're a solid team. But I don't think they, they look that hot. Um, so I don't think they'll do incredibly but just we could be wrong base it's not the man. worst i'm not i'm not I mean, gonna call you, got, you out because i think look, look, look at complexity's most recent losses bro and at, at lance carmine corp beat complexity game seven y'all remember that series i do mm -hmm. team liquid team <laughs> liquid beat team liquid beat complexity in seven another great series lost mm -hmm. the rule one in spring three one lost the vitality three two that was the ajg miss yep. they are there with everybody yep. Yeah, but they've and lost so, AJG but, now, and they don't look. I know that's the question. The that's the question. Exactly. That's that's the same. Especially the thing. Maybe when Doritos, Doritos losses, when Doritos losses are also really bad as well. Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. That's 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 the question mark. But that, that's not to say CRR and Rays boy ain't gonna still do their thing. But if if I mean if Doritos just, making mistakes or, or uh, you know if he's not playing well on line because you say they're line players, Doritos seems like he isn't. He's a two bad lines last season. I think he, you know he that's not a fool. I think he's be better than this. His performances showed, but I I mean. If he's playing badly, then I don't think CRR and Razeball are going to look like 16 18. It just, no, how can it? that happen? You can't 2v3. I think if he plays decent, Rockley. well, I mean, he plays decent. Uh, I mean, I. I, I, can I, see I think it's a, well, this is complexity hopium. I don't mind it, but it is complexity hopium, I think. Yeah. yeah, I'm just scrolling in my calendar to find out when that last event was. Um, Wait a second. Back. Because a someone has ago. to replace Gentle Mates in top eight because he doesn't have Gentle Mates in top eight. So he's throwing mm -hmm. complexity in there. That makes sense. You got to think about the oh, base logic here. Yep. Yeah. Everybody's always trying to figure out my list. Why don't y'all look at each other's list? It's because you got 15. Because <laughs> you, you always have the craziest list. list. You got 15 <laughs> spots left. Zero G2 players. Zero KC players. Zero Vitality players. You got zero BDS players. And you've only got one Rule 1 player. And you've got zero Furia players. So there's some really good players missing from your own... Your your handpicked teams that can play close to KC is what you said earlier. So I don't know who you've left out here, who's uh, who's playing badly. But we need to we need to keep going to find out, I guess, and see who's yeah. missing. Uh, yeah, I guess we do. Who's but before we team? move on, okay, Johnny, I just want to exotic at six. Mm. For me, best highest rated player on BDS this split. Best looking player on BDS this split, and you've got him above. You've obviously got the entirety of BDS above him. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? The entirety being two players, yes, I do. Uh, but yeah, Monkey, <laughs> I, I think yeah, Monkey Moon is going to be the best player on BDS this LAN, like he is every LAN for every team he's been a part of. I think he's going to be the best player. And yeah, I think Drally is going to slot right into LAN environment. I, I don't really, I've never really bought into like the super mechanical rookie is going to choke on LAN kind of uh, storyline. I've never liked that. or I, I've never liked that line of thinking. Going all the way back to Justin, when people are talking about that in Season 5, I was like, I don't know if I agree. I think it's just going to be fine. Because when you got mechanics, you, you're, you're comfortable on the pitch. You're comfortable Especially with the Swiss, Swiss start for, for every land now. You know, I, I think, think Drally's going to body, really body some teams, and then he's going to look like, uh, yeah, he's gonna look, I think he's going to look fine. I think he's going to be, and he, yeah, he's, he's unbelievable. Drally's yeah. like a generational talent for this game. He's, he's you know, Right, him, him, him and uh, Naipo are like the the two this split. I guess you got some you got some over there in Sam as well. Diaz uh, coming through. There's some really really good new players this season. Drally's one of them. So I've I've got to, I don't know. I've got I think he's going to do really well in LAN. I, I I like that. Uh, okay. Kind of that's my ba that's my like baseline expectation for Drally. He's going to do really well. Yeah, Swift as well in Sam. Good shot. There's a lot of, yeah a lot of good new players coming through in Sam. Um, but yeah, let, let's see. 15. We're into the top 15 now. Let's see 15. My 15. What's it looking like? What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> TIK 15? Beast mode? Beast mode 15? <laughs> Atomic 15? <laughs> We're starting to get into the, the, the funny Graffio ones. Graffiti 15? Graffiti 15 We're great. starting to get into the funny ones. Graffiti <laughs> 15 is great. Johnny, your list is so far the worst by far. And usually your lists are great. But there's no way you can save it already. And then, yeah, it's just not true, mate. <laughs> and I've been a single time we've done this list where you've thought that Johnny's list was great. You can't <laughs> say usually your lists are great. Every time we do this stream, you think he's got the worst list possible and you guys clash. Don't try and throw this, this the niceties out there. Get rid of them. No, Say listen, it how it is. Listen, I think the G2 are going to be put on like uh, put on defense a bunch compared to online and NA. And that was going to probably bring the best out of, da uh, out of Daniel, the third man. 
but I think yeah, Beastman Atomic probably not going to look as dominant as they have in. You North said you, wait, 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 you, you, you said you said you said you said you said G two gonna be playing like. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, I said a lot more defense, a whole lot more. Because I think in the last yeah, two series, well, the only world class team in NA besides G two is Gen G, and they put them on defense the last two times they played them. Uh, regional two, they put the GT on defense, forgot how to shoot in G two one. Then regional three, they put G two on defense and they scored a bunch and they beat them four one. I think you know G two are going to get put in defense like that against top EU teams, uh, Falcons, Fury. They're just going to be in defense a bunch, and that like makes yeah Daniel look better. If they were like an offense more, yeah, like Atomic and Beast Mode are kind of like leading the offense for that team, so you're going to see more of those guys. But yeah, I think Daniel's going to be the the guy stand outstanding player for for G two. Okay. This is also in line with Johnny. Not, shouldn't be surprised because Johnny's boy again has been saying they'll come. They'll be maybe fifth, maybe a fourth. I guess it's, if they yeah, get they're, the right they're, in the, they're in my group of teams that can get fourth if they get the right quarterfinal. That's where I got G two. Yeah, third, fourth with the right QF. Interesting. We got Rawas. We got. I mean, Yummy's got Atomic at fifteen as well. I mean. That's mm-hmm. a lot of G2 low this year. Well, are we are so putting low, them to throw all three top all, ten or something? Is that what we're trying to do? Like. That's that pretty means high. we're predicting them to win. The whole team in top that. fifteen is is a high rate. rate it's thing. huge. You don't even you don't even yeah, have all okay. vitality in the top fifteen. Uh, Radosan has already made an you appearance. Don't know, you don't know where I have any of my players. Clearly, clearly, I'm lacking and lacking in colors. <laughs> lacking in bold. Yeah. I don't know who <laughs> exists on some list, quality please. players. That's for sure. Um, nah, just, CJ, CJ, you can't talk. Trust me. Listen, you have no OCE well, players. You didn't even rep your own region. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what to tell you. You like well, some quality I'm not going to rep them. I'm going to go with the confident picks. I think I can go round five in Swiss, but I can't. I'm not going to put them anywhere. Mm, Come interesting. on. Interesting indeed. I've got to be realistic. You know, first land in, in eight months, and we weren't looking that or well, six months, whatever it's been. And we weren't looking that good. Six Mars months ago, be so. boring. I don't, even, I don't even believe that Demar be believing his list. I think he'd just be making a list to avoid the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I make a list to avoid the smoke. I literally, what? I made this uh, in a call with Raul Akir. Oh, so, so he made it he, with multiple people. No, but they didn't so have any do you input. have TRK's teammates above him, or do you have Falcons? Well, I have Ross at 20, and then oh, yeah, yeah. The, like, I have like on my list. But I don't think TRK at 15 is really a bad spot. 15, I think 15 is fine. Especially considering mm-hmm. that the placements of everybody, it's like top eight potential top four. It's not like I, I don't have Falcons winning this tournament uh, or making grand finals, but I think that where they are right now is fine. Like I don't, I don't see like a big deal with it. <laughs> TRK is a great player online. I, I can't really rate say like for the land performances too much, just because Falcons with him weren't necessarily that great. Yes, they were like top eight ish around there, but. <laughs> I think, of course, they've gotten better with uh, Rawas and Kaliers now, so he's definitely much higher than I think I've had him on the list before. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving okay. it until I see how high Kaliers is. If his Kaliers 14, then I'm like, right, what's going on here? This is, uh... <laughs> um, I'm nervous because my, I've just looked at my next pick and it's someone that no one has put yet. So, okay. okay, let's see nervous. it. Who's your next pick then? Let's see let's it then, see. bro. No one has put him. That's true. We nearly had a full mm. blue r- rule 14 lockout, except for T-Bits, who's not picking any blues today. He could have had that, but no, he doesn't <laughs> want to do it. No blues. He's got a lot of yellow, though. I like this. I, I, see, I don't mind the Sam and the, the Mina and the, the OCE love. But yeah, it's insane. Missing? He's got three yellows, and it's annoying me because uh, it just doesn't look nice on the list. Um, it's just with my alpha pick, alpha pick though. Um, I, honestly, I'm surprised that I'm the first one to put him here, uh, to be honest, given the caliber really? of of this this event um and i i would thought 14 was was nice um so i thought we'd at least have someone that turns out you're, just an al- you're an alpha hater cj yeah. that's what you are clearly uh, clearly yeah. unless some people don't have him on the list uh yeah okay In, anyway interesting mm-hmm. no complaints uh, though with alpha Rado, no complaints Rado at 14, 14 ex- explain explain to rattle 14 yeah rattle is insane by the way keep it up Wait. rattle 14 T bits has either got rather the highest out of all of us or not on the list. I think I found one. I think we've we've got him uh, got him dead to rights here. <laughs> He's left him out. <laughs> He's left him out. Because rattle fourteen is isn't bad for me. I like rattle I like uh, rattle fourteen, especially I had him a lot higher, I believe, around worlds, uh, so to speak. So knocked him off a couple notches, but I mean Alpha Zin still on there, rattle there, vitality haven't looked too good this split. Uh in terms of just where they used to be in terms of world champions. So a couple a couple of spots don't really hurt too much. 
Uh, I do. I am interested for Johnny though. Seiko over exotic. Is mm-hmm. it? Is it just like? Did you not? You think Seiko or Gentlemates are gonna do a little bit better, or do you like? Clearly, Exotic's a better player. Yeah, but I think uh, Seiko's gonna be the best player in his team, and Exotic's gonna be the least impactful player ah, in his team. So you know, best you, of the of the worst team, uh, slightly edging out the worst of the best team. But it's not wor- like worse by a mile. And Exotic's gonna be very effective. But yeah, I think uh, Gentlemates is kind of like G two, probably gonna be uh, playing a lot of defense, and that's where Seiko shines. So I've got him a. Uh, outperforming his teammates even though for the split they've kind of all been even in fact maybe juicy was my favorite player from the the first regional where they went uh into the final but uh yeah i think seiko if you're talking proven land players the last what is it three lands he's played he's made the final he won worlds uh like a couple of seasons ago and then he weighed two consecutive finals in spring and uh yeah. and uh, worlds again so yeah seiko's definitely a certified <laughs> land player uh i don't think he's going to be at all nervous at all um, and he's going to be, I think he's going to be great. But yeah, Gentlemen is definitely my weakest EU team uh, by a fair margin. So that's, they're all yeah, in all there. Right. They're all, that I've is your, all already. That's your last Gentleman's player. Yeah. We, need to, we need to talk, right? Because I'm just, again, and I don't want this to be, you know, a bait, you know, they slander list, but I'm just looking. He's got four <laughs> times as many South American players than EU players. He's got twice as many OCE players than EU players so far, three times as many North American <laughs> players, and twice as many MENA players. Mm-hmm. Um, you currently have EU as the fifth region in the world, um, what are your thoughts, Bates? You got my anyone up there? My thoughts are that, is, like I said, uh, Rocket League, and unlike everybody else, uh, I actually believe Rocket League is an international game. I think everybody else right now <laughs> is, just thinks that Rocket League is just a that's, European game. So, yeah. so you know, since, since, that, since that's the case, <laughs> since I actually believe in the international aspects of Rocket League, you know, we got more regions than just EU, more countries mm. than just France. Since we have that... Since we have that, I need some representation on the list. You know, we've got some great Sam players. I like that. Yeah, absolutely yeah, dominate. I, some great I OC feel like he's a player, mate. So, like, no, you know, I, I feel like this is good because if you think about it, right, seven months ago, we did a list. t didn't have any Sam players on his list. Matter of fact, the list before that, he only had one. Mm. So That's for me, Sam, was, <laughs> all the Sam players played in NA. <laughs> they were all in NA, these players. They all were in Dr. Rufy. Dr. Rufy yeah, but, also, Sam. <laughs> Okay, yeah, because uh, yeah, he had CRR and Race Bull there, but yeah, all right, that that is that is very valid. That's very valid. This is a very creative way to put more NA in the top twenty-five by Bates. <laughs> he's just squeezing all the former NA because NA is so international, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, look how strong NA was last season. They're all in the top twenty-five. He's, he's looked at like a a population heat map of the world and going, hang on a minute, I can really get some more fans if I put some more international <laughs> players in here. I mean, we got, oh, we got no, eight billion uh, people. If he's, if he's Sphinx in this and well played honestly well played <laughs> at that point um, right we're actually doing pretty good for time we've got another hour to go here so let's keep going because um, we do need to save a little bit of time at the end figure out who t base has left out of his list uh, but this is number 13 we've got a uh, good mixture blue here now? Here. oh no but still green <laughs> no blue continues the no blue streak is alive and well uh, there we go <laughs> TRK at 13 <laughs> That is a chunk of Mina and Sam as well. There's a bit of a bit of an NA drought as well, but we know they're coming. That's mm. the difference. We actually do know they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Are they coming? Oh, yeah. They might not be on the list. <laughs> I think we know they're on the list, basically. I could only have three of them. I could only have three NA players on here. <laughs> I, could, I mean, three NA players left. Hmm. It might be all blue. Doubt. It might be all blue of us. Doubt. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Bites, do you... Oh, I guess you can't really say, but obviously you've got Roas... Why are you Bob. worried about my list? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, it's I, I'm really worried about your list. I'll it's say it. I'm glad sus. you said it. I'm <laughs> super concerned about your list. Um, incredibly, I think that... Why does everybody have Atomic so low? What happened? You forgot to play Rocket League? I'm confused. This is a, uh, it's 13 not low, low? It's good. It's, it's a good rating to be the lowest rating player low with no other like G2 to 17. Above. It's pretty, pretty mm. high, actually, when you got your teammates above you. Which I assume they are. Mm. I, I don't think anybody's leaving a G2 player off their list. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, we haven't seen any G2 players from Daz or T-Bates, so they're obviously doing pretty good. Um, yeah, no, no, actually, no, you got Chronic in there, uh, Bates. But yeah, I mean, we're, we're trying to just reverse engineer your EU slander. That's what it is, because very creatively done this time, is he's thrown us a curveball. Usually he just chucks in, you know, 
exotic at 25 and we all start roasting him from the get-go but this time we just don't know where he is he just he could be off the list he could be uh, in top 12 it's very creative i've got to hand it to you listen you don't know where he is man you don't know where he is you don't know where rattle is you don't know where monkey is you don't know where zen is where's alpha you never know <laughs> you don't even know where any of these people are. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna, you, you, if you thought you could sneak any of them out of the list, you, you're wrong. We're gonna, we're gonna find out. There's only twelve <laughs> of them, so we're gonna count them. But uh, I think we can keep, we can keep going here. Let's let's go to twelve and see what's coming up next. Here we go. Is the next color blue? It is. it is. Ah, finally go, some go. blue. Hi. Uh, he's, he's doubled the number of blues. Monkey oh, Man is only two though. Ooh. Monkey Moon at well, Monkey Moon 12. At 12. I mean, he's got Atomic at 13, so I mean, listen. Well, I guess Monkey Moon's got better results than, than Atomic, so I guess I'll let that. Ah, yeah, Monkey Moon at, at 12. Oof, Monkey Moon low. at 12, um, CJ. I think, look, <laughs> Monkey Moon, worst performing player on BDS this split. Still have him above Drowley, but I, I think I that... Was, <laughs> yeah, really? I don't know if he was. Was he the worst? Worst really? performing player on BDS this split. I think that... <laughs> I think that Exotic was the best player on BDS this split. Yeah, he's, he's good. He burned air roll. Yeah. I, I, I think I'm, I'm giving a bit of a, I'm giving a land buff for Monkey Moon, but I think... That's a buff? What is What was <laughs> the nerf? I'm giving a land buff um, because I, I, don't, I don't think he was looking... I don't think he was looking... I think this is a, the worst... I've seen another uh, again, and it's it's a very high standard for Monkey Moon. You know what I mean? Online, at land, and stuff like that. But I think this is this is the, I think this is the first time I really saw his teammate. He was being outperformed by his teammates, um, and I just I just have exotic. I re I'm really rating exotic. I think he's going to pop off for a land now. This could backfire. This could be like when everyone had a touchy over a Vitira back in the KC days for yeah, a land, and, was, was and, and, and we were wrong. This this could absolutely backfire on me, but I'm I'm really. I really like what I'm seeing from Exotic, so I'm, I'm going to put him above above Monkey for this event. But when you look at the average placements, like team average placements, it, it kind of works out for where I've got BDS um, as a whole. Uh, so uh, look, it, it might sound crazy, but I'm I'm very happy with the eleven that I've got above. You could put him higher, but when you look at the EU players that I have above him, um, yeah. the only one I think you could argue is Exotic, to be honest. Uh, so we'll see. I like the exotic praise. I'll give you that. But yeah, monkey, monkey moon at twelve though it would be a, that would be a surprise given how, how strong they've looked for me. But uh, okay, we have to we have to keep going here. We're almost at the top ten. I, let's let's keep going. Let's see, yummy. You got something. Well, to I add. originally had Yan a lot higher as a note, and um, and then I realized they're probably going to come fifth eighth. So I had to bring Yan down. I also think Yan and Lost are going to be really similar. I think both of them have been kind of going back and forth in their performances. So. Hmm. That is true, they have. Okay, let's see. 11, we've got some more alphas coming through. Um, we've got another Lost in here for CJ. We've got the first Atto at 11. And I've gone with Kaleers. Atto 11. Yeah, Atto, Atto at 11 is disrespectful. Atto 11. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, you no, thought man, you I, thought I, you I, could I'm put off like you thought. Let's just leave some of you players out. Let's not put them at the bottom of the list. Let's see, <laughs> try and delay the uh, you know delay the the assault of uh, uh, you know questions. But this is you know, now you've just undone all of that hard work early. What is Atto doing at eleven? You could have at least put him in the, down in the top ten for a start. Oh, if it was one by, it was one spot higher. So I'm assuming somebody else has him at ten. If it was one spot There's higher, no it would have been okay. It would have been, it would have been okay. Nah, there's no let, way. Let, let's, you could at least put him in the top 10. So if I put him at 10, it would have been different. No, 11 and 10, all the same. Uh, Otto, man, listen. I saw him on that Batman build. Mark can attest to it. It was terrible. And also, also, yeah. also, he, he's, he's a great player. He's been great. He's actually been playing his best ball he's ever played on his KC team. Now, that could be uh -huh. for a variety of reasons. Um, that we don't, I don't need to dis dissect. But, so it, it remains to be seen if he can do that on land, though. I think he's always been good on land. Has he been great? Yeah. He's had moments, but I don't think he's been sensationally great or anything of that such. That doesn't mean he can't do it. He hasn't done it yet. And so me having him at 11, honestly, was a testament to how great he's been playing online so far. Because I do think that his two teammates are better than him. I do think that his two teammates are ridiculously good on land. On land. And I do think that his two teammates are going to be the same exact players you always expect them to be on land. So then it's a question mark where you put them. And then I thought, hmm. 
10, 11, 12. He could fit in that range for now. If he balls out, if he shows me that he could play better than Rise, if he could play better than better than Vati and uh and Copenhagen, we'll uh do a reassessment. Reassessment next to top okay. twenty five before we go to major two. But until then, I like him at eleven. Show my my number ten, Johnny. Yes, yummy. Oh. Here oh. it comes. Yeah. I don't so, believe it. <laughs> I don't believe this. I, what is going on? This is on? the first time I've ever joining Bates in his I corner. But the big thing, it. I mean, that means three players in the wow. top 10. That means I'm predicting them to win. Mm -hmm, still and I just can't get past Rise being above. If I'm going off online, which I've done before, uh, remember mm -hmm. I put Itachi above Vatira uh, for the winter major last year. That was year. a mistake, I told you. Big I told mistake. You that was a mistake. I can't put Atto above Rise. Rise is just such a big lane game. If it's online, Atto's top five. Bam. Easy. Done. But with the Rise land bath with Atto, as Bates said, hasn't, you know, maybe it had a consistent performance at land yet. Uh, I kind of end up going the opposite way. Well, look, I, I'll say I nearly wanted to have Atto at one. Um, that's how impressive he's been. But I, again, I bring up the Itachi Vatira thing. I don't want to make that mistake again um, about not putting Vatira as the highest rated player on K Corp. But I've been so impressed with Atto. Like, he has been phenomenal. Um, he's playing his best ball. Well, he's only, but before now, he only played with Team Liquid. That was it. So, and that was a great team. I mean, they, they, yeah, they were a really great team, but you, you, you know, you're talking inconsistency. I don't know if we can just put all that on Atto. I think the whole team was. You know, very up and down. Um, I thought and Lord Oscar was pretty consistent. Uh, yeah, they were both very, like, they're kind of similar for me. Atto Oski, they were like the, they were the same. Like, one event I'd have them, like, they were, they're always very close and I'd flip who's the order. But I don't know. Now that he's playing with, uh, with certified players, he looks like a different beast. And I don't think you can just say that that's his, all his teammates. Surely that has to be, at, you know, Atto just being able to play his game now fully for the first time. Whereas before, he maybe couldn't. There were flashes of that, but definitely no consistent stretch. I, don't know, I think he's always had this in him. I think Atos, he's very, very good right now. I, I think you've gone. I think you've, mm. you've gone a bit low here. I think this is gonna this is gonna age poorly. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, right. I don't think it's crazy. Like it's not. It's not like it's there's 18 fine. or something. It's not. If, you know, that's fine. I think the beast every single person uh, age poorly for you. That's why I think every single person bad. in my top ten is a world beater. So for me, at least, and uh, world beater. and all Wait, three so of KC are in the top ten. That's like a Wait, dominant land victory. Mm. Wait, question, timeout. So what's the more egregious pick, Beast Mode at fifteen or Addo at eleven and ten? What the Beast Mode who's finishing, you know, third, fourth on a good bracket, fifth, eighth on a on a you know expected bracket, or the guy winning the event and you know. Looking like probably the the most outplays per game player in the entire thing. Yeah, I, I think uh, at eleven is looking pretty bad versus Beast Mode of fifteen. If you ask me, they're, they're probably. I don't. I don't like. I don't like the argument just because you use Beast Mode's pass and you move, you use Addo's present. If you go to use Addo's no, 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 pass, I mean, like that's what they're going to do now. No, that, I'm now. predicting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, predicting I see what you're saying. This is a prediction list, not a present. not a okay. ranking of the players you, 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 list, right? Yeah, you, you know, that's Addo. Fair, that's you fair. know, Addo. So, hypothetically speaking, say G2 finishes uh, third, fourth, and yeah. Carmine wins the event. Beast mm -hmm. Mode could still have been played better than Addo in the event. But I, th I think if they get third, fourth, though, it's because of the way... We, we all saw EU Regional 2 this split, where all the French teams played each other in the quarterfinals, and then all the non-French teams played each other in the quarterfinals, and you've got some teams in the semifinals now who are probably not better than uh, teams who got eliminated in the quarters. That's just how Swiss in a single li limb works you can just get a good quarterfinal match. And there being three, you know, EU teams who look pretty, I think I need a lot scary in the fourth EU one. I need being on side, different side of the bracket. I need two up top, I need two down low. Yeah, but I, the I think Gentlemates would be the easy all, match. I want them all on different sides. I think Gentlemates okay, would be you the can, easier can, match you, for okay, me. Okay, if, that's fine. If G2 so, beat Gentlemates, I wouldn't like uh, rank that as high as if they beat fine, one of the other fine, three. Then. That's like how I think they make semis if they match Gentlemates in the quarters. Okay, but if they match the others, I don't think they Gentlemates has been thrown to the masses so we can have Vitality, we can have Carmine versus Gentlemates. One for one versus eight. Let's get that out the way. So if we can have them over there, and then and then I want I want BDS and Vitality on the other side of the bracket. That's all I want. So I want Carmine on one side with Gentlemates, and I want BDS and Vitality on the other side. Just so there's no question marks about what the rest of the world can do. 
That's what I want to I, say. I, I, uh, in, in a way, I also want that, but I'd be very scared if that happened. I, well, I won't lie to you. I'd be very scared if that happened because we've... Uh, yeah, I, w- I, want the, yeah, I want the international teams to be in the final day of the competition. I really do. And I think, yeah, I'd be doing? scared if I saw all the EU teams in different quarterfinals. I'd be like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, it's there. happening again. I would be worried. I'll be honest with you. Oh, let's do it. All right, the rest of the Titans. Wrong grade pace. We are in good pace here. That's good. Let's, let's keep it up. We've got, uh, okay, another non-blue for T-Bates. He's uh, got Rovas very high. I don't mind it. I like it. I think Falcons oh, can do some damage here. Nobody saw that. Don't, don't leave. Three, all, wait, who's lost with that? No, 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 don't worry. You I don't might, mind I, it, but you did have the opposite, Johnny. You know, you predicted Rovas to be the worst of them. Yeah, yeah but I, I don't mind it, though. I, I think I... I'm going the other way with it, but I, you know, I, I like to see the Rawas uh, praise. I, I, I do like to see that. Um, I think he's got ah, it in him, go. but yeah, I think uh, I'm, I'm just putting clears higher because that's where he, that's what's happened the last two RLCS lines. But uh, yeah, this is a right, interesting right, top ten. Ten for Atomic from Dazzari. Interesting. So that's not that's not bad for Masi right there. I like that. I like that. The not bad. Not bad at all. Yep. Not bad. I think we're doing good here. Respectable spot. Yeah. Exotic at 10. Oh, yeah. CGRA went through his ramble away. Somehow, some way, Exotic's better. Yeah, I've me. rounded out my list. I've rounded out my yeah, BDS, BDS players. players. Yeah. Um, and I, I just think that just shows right now, I think they look like a great team. And this, you could say this is this is copium, but I don't think that anyone, like, I think Exotic's been the best player on the team, but I don't think anyone's been, like, outstanding on BDS. And I, and I think that that kind of puts them in that top four bracket, um, maybe third, fourth. Uh, at the land is is maybe third is where I've, I've, we'll, we'll find out on the average placements. But um, again, I, I you know Monkey Moon might be my most outrageous pick, but uh, he was I think ranked eighteenth this split for EU. I think it was his lowest goals assists. I think everything across the board goal participation we've seen from him. I think we're just kind of if you want to put a blindfold on that and just say you know let's go back eight months ago to Worlds you know or back to land, then you can put him top five. But um, I think this is the, the the worst I've seen him coming into a major, albeit they honestly are the number two team. Um, but I think his teammates really stepped up and they're looking like a really well-oiled machine. It's not just the Monkey Moon show. Um, so oh, I think that's oh, why I've got them all oh, kind of at oh, 10 to 17. Well, you don't have the second, you them them second best. Yeah, they're definitely not looking second best in your list, though. If they're all in, no, I said I know they're the second best. They're number two seed in Europe, so I'm, I'm not. I'm not. You know, as I'm saying, albeit they are, they were number two in Europe. Um, I'm putting them third, fourth at this event. But you think they just suck on land, is what you're saying? So ten, twelve, eighteen. So <laughs> no, I'm not saying garbage. that they suck on <laughs> land. I'm saying that I'm saying that. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Wait, just wait. We'll see. I don't know. I feel like you got uh, KC, Vitality, and G2 above them. And I'm like, what's going on here? Why are BDS fourth? Uh, do I have Do I have Vitality above them in the rank? Well, that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, maybe not. Uh, actually, I just remembered Rodos is 25. Mm, but yeah, I'm about in Vitality. But yeah, yeah uh, so... We'll, we'll, well, I don't know. You're, you're, we'll you're, have a look. You're interesting on BDS there. Not, not the highest uh, on BDS. All right, let's see number nine, unless anyone's got anything else to add. I just saw it. Number nine. Number nine is looking like... Mmm. Damn Beast Mode at nine, not bad. Ooh, yeah. Crack, Monkey crack, Moon at nine, nine, what are you thinking? <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. <laughs> Again, I think this is just like at this point for me, it's reasonable no matter what you pick, unless it's like a one of those players that shouldn't be in the top yeah, ten. Yeah, crack back into the top ten though without doing anything. Like, uh, I like, like I listen, like... when you say without doing anything, like if I'm just saying, if G two were on the win streak, the Furia were on coming into this split, and then regained from their only loss, I think they won like what twenty plus series in a row against RLCS Sam level competition coming into the season, lost once to Complexity, and then they swept the rest of the regionals without losing if if, an, if, if g2 boss? did that oh that wouldn't be nothing like sam is a real region if a team's doing that in sam that gets definitely definitely gets props from me so i've got to, i've got to respect mm-hmm. it and you, you know they didn't have the the land result that they wanted in uh spring last year but i think you know back in sam i think they're going to be feeling pretty confident they're the big dogs again coming in confident okay, they're not okay. scraping in um having okay. a fight for their life like they did in in spring i guess what did they call for third fourth seed i forget but yeah, I think they're going to be back. I think I expect them to be back. Plus, uh, Dr- Drafino. I mean, add in Drafino. This is just a, this, a ridiculous super team now. This is crazy. 
the 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 level of this team. You've got Yan, who was the best player in Sam, uh, uh, what, what was it, two years ago. And then Lost was mm. the best player in Sam when Yan left to go to NA. And then Drafino was the best in Sam when Lost left. And now you got all of them on the team together. Like this team is ridiculous. And they've only lost one series out of how many? Like their last, it must be like 40 or something. Crazy run against yep. teams like Complexity, oh, okay. NIP, Respect Team it. Secret. It. It's insane what they're doing. I think it's a far better team than the uh, one that, you know, than the than the lineup that was Dom, well, going really well. And we're putting what after London we put Lan, uh, Yan top two, top three. Everybody uh, had him like one. top three. I mean, and I think I he's got I, a better team, I, I, I and I think he's looking just as good. But he was I top three. Everybody had him top three, and uh, that was it, it was enough. accurate at the time. He was. He no, really was. Top three doesn't move with that. He won v three optic in a top eight. Uh, well, London. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. That was a, a phenomenal series. That made him scratch the top ten. So what do you mean scratch the top ten? That's, <laughs> I mean, I'm, no, I'm everybody coming out of that line was like, okay, Wait, yeah, he's the, the best team, defensive wasn't player that Turbo in the world. Wasn't Turbo playing for the Optic team? Who played for the Optic team? Was Turbo's coaching? No, Turbo's coaching, my bad. Missed Illusion and Jerez, I think it was. Come on now. Yeah, you got a whole bunch of, yeah, right, of coaches, a yeah. whole bunch of old men. You got missed. You know you, 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 that same missed joint phase, and you were like, super team. Oh, no, you no, no, Costello was great. Costello was great. Costello was always great. But, I mean, Alu, Alu, I mean... I, I respect Alu. Alu know, Alu know I got respect for him, but that, that man, that man knew he was on the way out. He knew he was about to retire. He was just enjoying his song, his uh, swan song. <laughs> swan song. Yan Yan was the best player after Gamers Eight, the first mm -hmm. one. So, yep, yep. I, I think we can. And then Still hasn't beat me. Top, Let's go to number eight. Worlds lost to the champions, the eventual champions. They beat Moise. I mean, for crying out loud, you got to give Yanis. At that point, he was he was so good, and he uh, had a bad season last season, but still. Oh yeah, they I'm look amazing. back. They they look like they're back uh, to me. Right, we're we good to go to number eight. Everybody, we have got a lot of time left. This is good pace. Here we go. Yeah, really good. Oh, Dan the man at number eight. Ooh, and okay. apparently Jack at number I like eight. That. I like that. That's right. <laughs> Of course he right. like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. Uh, <laughs> you're not brave enough to do it yourself, Dan. Yeah, you really guys. like it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, it's ambitious for sure. Don't get me wrong, but you know, okay, Jack. Is What's ambitious about that? It's not crazy, honestly. You like not, with Gen you. G's last regional, they honestly mm -hmm. could outperform G two. Uh, they could be. They could come in and yeah. look really, really good. So, if you could be G two, you could beat anybody. And Abjax well. and, and Ab Jack's all Jack's always been playing solid at land. I think Worlds, I think Worlds last Worlds was a little suspect from what's his usual performance. The spring major, I think he was great. I mean, they didn't do that good. Well, actually, no, didn't he finish like top six, eighth? And he was phenomenal. That was he was phenomenal. Winter, I thought he played really exceptional at land. Uh obviously fall they won. Um and even on Dignitas days, Dignitas didn't play. They didn't never got the results, but I always thought Ab Abjack was balling. Jack's a great player, man. There's a reason. Uh, he was up there for NA MVP considerations. Uh, I think FK, FK, FK robbed him, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> um, but I mean, he's a great player. I think he's been playing great, and I think that uh, they're gonna do well. He needs to perform, and I think they are gonna do well. So I got Abjack up there. Abjack eight, man. Chronic must actually just look like the worst player of all time if Gen G are going this well and Chronic's at 20. He, he must just look uh. <laughs> He must be own goal in. He must be, you know, playing for the other team sometimes. Like, what is happening with Chronic though, uh, Bates? What's that? What's happened to him down there? He's a he's a good player. He's a good player. He knows what he needs to do. Um, he's mechanical. He can play defense, play offense. He can shoot, and um, he knows everything you need him to do. Uh, I just don't believe that. Like I said, I've never seen him play better than Jack on Lane. I've never seen that, and I don't think that's going to change this time around. And I've also, and I've, and I've also, where the, was, was Jack just, clear never, at Worlds? Very quickly, you see, you said that a couple of times. Like, was Jack clear at I Worlds? Think they, or I think they're about equal. I think they're about equal at Worlds. I don't really think either of them played that good at, at Worlds. Spring but, as well. Um, like again, like I don't spring, think Jack. Spring was, Jack was definitely clear. He was clear he was, by a mile, like, and in no. winter he was clear too. Now, if you want to make argument for fall? I think Chronic played his best land the one they won. Um, I feel like it's the other way around. I, I feel like think, Jack was the best Jack at fall, better. and then oh no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, I still think no, I, no, no, I still think Jack was the best at fall. But so then, I'm saying, yeah, but I was. think Chronic played his best land at. But I think Chronic played his best land ever at fall. But I still think Jack was better. Nah, so I'm not seeing a world where, where Jack, where uh, Chronic plays better than Jack. But like I said, that could happen, I guess. And I definitely don't see a world where they play better than FK. Um, so so. 
Oh, I agree with that, but I don't know. Chronic, the Chronic was like pretty. I, I don't think there was a clear carry for Gen G at like Spring or Worlds, the most recent and relevant lands. Uh, but yeah, Jack was definitely better at Fall and Winter, but they're they're farther, they're longer ago. I don't know. I, I, I'm feel, really like, I feel like you're underrating Chronic's land performances. They, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> he wasn't getting. I think carried. he's. Always, I think he's been like. I don't think he's been carried, but I think he's like when they won. I think you can make the argument he was about a top fifteen, top twelve player. And then when. Huh? And and when and when and nah nah just because they won it doesn't have to be higher. I still I still think Noli played better than them at, at that land too. I think they all played well, but um and and, and you know what I mean they're all, they're all good players, man. They're all good players. Chronic at twenty is fine, but it's a big gap though. Like you're, you're saying it's fine, but that's a big gap. That's a big difference. And I've got Redosin at twenty, Alpha at ten. That's a smaller gap, but I think it's warranted given Redosin's like. Uh, antics uh in the past uh you know sometimes playing for both teams and then recently playing for both teams even more actually they've all kind of been playing for both teams but Radosa is kind of known as that guy i don't think chronic is so you've got a bigger gap to uh to chronic than i've got alpha to Radosa. so that's a yeah big, but that's a big gap johnny though it's starting to get much more clear i've been doing the math and you only got seven spots left. <laughs> seven spots left okay seven spots left <laughs> G2, KC, and then who? Seven who's spots left. KC, Zen. G2, that's six, and then... Zen. What's Zen, Zen, and then... Uh, my, my no Redosin, no Exotic, I want to remind no everyone that Bates once put all three of BDS in the top six, and they came last at level. So. <laughs> yeah, but then he ended up winning the World Championship. So what do you say about that, <laughs> yummy? What do you nah, say? You, you, you got to do it at the right time, man. What do you say about that, yummy? You got to do it at the right time, man. You that. Couldn't get more wrong. You got to roll both times. You got really wrong. All right, wait. Are we good to move on here, CJ? Yeah, seven. Let's go. Seven? Okay, let's see seven. There it is. I'm at seven. Let me see. Yan at seven from CJ. Yeah. Yeah, I've got Yan him. I've got him. Uh, I've got him the highest, and Yan is back. Honestly, I I might be on that Sam Copium, but I cannot wait to see. Is it? Cool? Can I show you guys something? Is it? Is it Copium? Let me just pull up something. I don't know if this is visible. Is this showing yeah, us? Yeah, it is. I see. I, this, uh, this I originally had speed. Yan six until I moved him down. So <laughs> I just, wait, this, this is what they added. Holy cow. Look at this. This is when they added Rafinha to the roster. They didn't lose in the off season at all. And this is all against like RLCS level. It's basically like regional competition. They won every mm -hmm. single series and then they lost once to Complexity and then they won every single series again. They they're on probably the most impressive streak I've, I've seen in Sam ever. This is unbelievable. Against Complexity, NIP, Team Seeker, NIP, uh, this, uh, I forget, yeah. uh, Gamer Legion. This is uh, uh, Panya and Pinero and Unbroken. These are like certified, consistent top eight Sam players. Every single team here is like this part of the strongest Sam of all time. And this is what Furia have done. Like they, they are on a crazy streak right now that can't be ignored. Thank you, John. Is, is there no, anyone here that thinks that <laughs> Furia couldn't make a top two? Couldn't, as in, there's not? no shot they yeah. can do it. No, I can see it. Nah, I, I can see that. I, think, I, can, I can see that. I think yeah, everyone can imagine them making a top two. I, maybe, maybe hard to see them winning the entire thing, but yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. They're they're in the running. I think, it, I think there's yeah, there's probably yeah. six teams in the in the running. Maybe five. Yeah. I just wanted to compare the Falcons' win rate. Where does I have this? six, seven, but five, five favorites? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah Fal seven. Falcons winner is looking pretty good as well. But they that's that is weaker competition. Sam, I think, is stronger when you go outside the top two than mm -hmm. uh, Mina. But they're both looking ridiculous. Like the these streaks mm -hmm. are you can't just ignore these when Mina and Sam are peaking as regions and you do that to us a, a region. Crazy. Actually crazy. So uh yeah. I've got that's why I've got CRK way up here. I think he's a uh, yeah, he he's uh, probably for me gonna be the best player in the team. Um I think he's been the best player in Mina for I think all time, pretty much. Uh, he didn't play it. So they only had one team at uh, Boston. It wasn't them. That's so he so wasn't interesting that how you say that. Are you saying best individual player? Mm hmm Okay. I guess maybe. Going all the way back to, for me and Stockholm, the first land they played, I think he was the best player. He's just always been the best player. He's, he's a certified land player. And this is, I think, going to be a, a very strong showing for them. But... Um, I can't put them higher than this, like the Yans, the TRKs, the Daniels, because although they're, they're the best on a very good team, I've just got some teams a bit better. That's why they, they're kind of appearing now and not in the top five for me. <laughs> yeah, I think I've made a bit of a mistake with the very top of my list because I didn't think about you know where the team's going to place for some of the individuals I've put up there. So that'll be interesting. Okay. okay. Let's go six. Let's go. I'm happy where we're at as a, as a collective. Is it cohort? Here's six. 
Got some more Daniels appearing. Mm -hmm. Daniels spawning in at six. Okay. First killer. Still no G2, though, on T Bates' list. <laughs> Still no Zen. Still no Vatira. Interesting. Maybe this G2 is going to be the most the dominant victory of all time. <laughs> hey, maybe, G2, maybe G2 just didn't make the list. Now you never know. Maybe, maybe they all just. They yeah, that's no, cap. Yeah, we all know that. You, you can't G2's tell us. Maybe, that maybe, story. maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe I took, maybe I took, maybe I took him off the list to just get rid of, get rid of all the pressure on him. <laughs> He's mad at everyone putting atomic low, but he didn't have atomic on his list at so all. So just to clarify what you just said, T Bates, do you think that you, because what you're about to do is put all of G2 in the top five? Obviously, is like, do you think that does put a ton of pressure on them? No. No. So that was just misdirection. What you just said there. Mm. No, that's it. Says whatever pressure that they do have, it is just completely alleviated if they're not on base's list at all. Okay, okay, interesting. Um, Otto yeah. at six, Dan at six, or Finley at six. I mean, these aren't bad picks. These are all no. solid picks. I, I, I can't be mad at it. I can't be mad at it at all. I think it's hard to be mad at any pick in the top five, except for having three G two members there, but. <laughs> <laughs> Are they in the top five, Yummy, or are they in the top four? Let's keep going and find <laughs> out who comes next. It, they're not in the top four. There's the first one. It's Atomic. He is number Rating five. Atomic a bit low there, Bates. He's saying he's the worst on the team. Well, huh? not even top four, bro. Come on. Like, yeah, Masi my, my, my at five. I mean, listen. Uh, it was hard. It was hard to place him. It was, it was hard to place him, but... Hard, it, him hard in what way? Explain how, how it was difficult. Because it's, it's hard. It's hard to rank the G two boys. It's hard to. It's hard to figure. It's hard to figure them out. Oh, I see. It's, it's in that hard, way. Okay. It's, yeah. Right. It's, okay. it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. I thought hard you were saying hard out. because you couldn't think of it. You were really desperately trying to rationalize putting him even higher, and you, you're trying to. Why think is Drolly top five on the list? What has Drolly done to be number? Wait, five? Drolly hey. is number five. Actually, wait a minute. Hey. Why hey. see hey. that? Hey. Now the, the more that I think about it, the more I actually want to put him higher. Why? Because oh. I've got BDS coming second. And there's going to be somebody coming second is always going to be like, there's going to have a top three in the list. I've already got all three of my members there. What the? So Drali, I think he's going to ball. I think he's, he's got the mechanics. I think people are going to forget the first couple of rounds of Swiss where he might, you know, have first land jitters. And, uh, and then he'll have that Daniel story of his, you know, Daniel's first land where he started. Yeah, it'll be them. one series. Max. By the end, everyone's cheering his name and, and nobody remembers it's, anything else. It, I think he's yeah, going to have these they play insane elevate. plays they play that elevate. people remember. Yeah, I agree. He's going to be up there. Mm -hmm. They play elevate. I'm right sorry that might, you're a Drali data because you put him at 19, Daz. Come on. Yeah, so I'm a Drali realist. You think that man's going to get there? No, no, no. You just think anybody who's having their first land gonna, is somehow bad. I mean, the blue walls 19 bad. Oh. Nine, no, nineteen. It's, yeah, I, I, the blue walls said they're not coming, but I will, I will, I will, say, I will say that. I mean, like, I just haven't seen anything from Draw this whole split to just justify having him at top five. Like, I mean, he's been good, but to have be a top five, you don't have Draw at all woman. in your you list. list. You don't know where Draw is. You don't know where Draw is. Draw could be in this top four for me, but I'm saying Draw is. Yeah, the rest of GT. Dude, come on, bro. As if. <laughs> all, I'm saying, all, all, all I'm saying is that Drolly, he's been playing good, but he definitely hasn't necessarily played great yet. So for you oh, to throw him on. in. Nowhere top, near as good as Banana Head. Bro. Top five. <laughs> You're joking right now. Drolly's had a better first split than Daniel's first split. That's guaranteed. Yeah. His first split has been a very good ben first Dan's split. Dan's first split? Oh, for sure. He just did oh, in EU. No. <laughs> You yes. mean da da Daniel's yes. first split? Yes, yes. He has had a better first split than Daniel's first split so far. But obviously, we need to see what he does at the land. Daniel made top three his first land. I think Drally could do that. I think he will. But like he at this point, three regionals Daniel? in, Drally's definitely looking better the, for me Not than Daniel. Chance, look, look, you got to remember, this, this, this is my... Huh? I mean, it's a wild pick. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to agree to that. It's a wild pick, but I think it's going to pay off. The safe pick, the boring bland pick, would be to put Monkey Moon above Drowley in my list. But I have belief. I, th I think Drowley's going to come out. I think he's going to show up. Drowley's, Drowley's insane. Nah, he's, he's, he's going to be 
Uh, like, what, no, are, are, do people really misunderstand what I'm saying here is like this split? I mean, da, Dra, Daniel's first split with Space Station, I'm comparing. Like, like Drally's first okay. split. Yeah, now, exactly. yeah, Daniel's first that's, split was, that's what was I, sensational. That's, okay. No, I think Drally's been a better the better first split, though. you got to remember it's EU oh, against KC, Vitality. Oh, I remember Vitality. Dan just carrying uh, those. But it was, it was against from. like... NA yeah, Drally's got, Drally's got a I don't know. Hey, first off, NA was really good back then. And they it's won and it's and then and, 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 no. I don't know. I think it was a flash in the pan. I don't know. You had NRG kind of falling to pieces. You had G two looking a bit quaky in their first event, then finally figuring it out for the for the end of the split. Um I don't know. I think uh, version one. My point is not to say Daniel had a bad split. I think Drally's had a great split. He's had one of the best rookie splits ever. And I think yes, he's had some mistakes, but I'm not gonna put like that as the only thing that uh that I rate him on. Oh, I saw him like make a mistake here and here and here. Everybody makes mistakes. So you could do that to any player. You could do that to Zen. You could do well, maybe any player outside of uh, KC. Even KC made some mistakes. Like uh, to do what he's done in his first ever split in a dom most dominant re region ever. He used right now is probably like based on past results is the most dominant region ever, and he's just come in and he's established himself as a top tier player. That is insane to do that in a first split. Yeah. I think he he should definitely That's be on the list. Um, Johnny, can I? I don't know if I do this. Can I request a modification? Now I'm looking at my list. What have you, <laughs> what have you really done? <laughs> no, it's nothing major. Okay. I just, I just, I really want. Can you swap TRK and Atto? Because I really like TRK and Yen next to each other. Can can uh, I can I can I can I have that? I I don't remember I don't having I, this. Wait, maybe I can. Hold on. Let me see if I can do. Can that. you just write it, or is or is uh, it, it's I, fine? No, it's not. It's not. It. It's obviously it's nothing major, but I. I no, you go get switchy. You you put it in there. You you made your bed. Yeah. Now you gotta lay in it. Go to number. I'd be number switching one. my. my I just like the idea of them because that's kind of my narrative. <laughs> I think that those two are gonna be just looking really good from the the best of the rest outside right. of NANU. Let's go. Let's go to four. Uh, we hit a we hit a road bump there, but let's let's continue. Uh, right, we've got some first killers, a beast mode, a monkey mode, and a NATO in here. Interesting row. A second G2 player has uh, spawned in for T Bates list. Why four, four, fourth again for first killer? You can't keep doing this to. I'll be honest, I put him in uh, four. <laughs> you guys put him in four. No, I, I didn't even think about that. Um, I think it, uh, albeit they've been the second best team this split, FK is still just putting up numbers and he's going to keep putting up numbers. Um, even though I don't think they're going to be top three. I could see them coming top four, but yeah, maybe fourth, fifth, around there. Around there. FK is still going to dominate. Yeah. I think no matter what, right first killer at any land, like. Uh -huh. we've, we've experienced this CJ at Worlds, like any land that even if his team doesn't get the performance and the results, like he's still just a player that everybody's going to remember. He's going to perform at that kind of top life five level. So Wait, we've got him the highest, Yummy. I was real. I thought base. Oh, wow. I've got okay. five. So yeah, yeah he's at four, I was thinking, five, yeah. five, six, seven. He's very, I was thinking Daz would have him high. higher, but yeah. Okay. The more, the more, the more, the more just he just reps all the merch and talks about how he's opening packages, but then it's like when they actually so, come down to repping so the team, funny. He's, he's not gonna do that. So, so, so like, don't worry, but I'm gonna hold it down for Genji. I'm gonna hold it down for Genji for real. For uh, he just reps the mobile one. I actually rep Genji to players. There's a difference. He's the brand, and I'm like, I'm like a person who supports the players. So, are you? I do. I have more yes. higher than you. That's very great on this list. Yes. Does that have anything to do with their placement? Total, because they're pretty much around the same, even in the placement. If you look at our lists, like you don't have Jinji so tattoo. FK at six. I got Chronic at twenty. Where do you have Jinji finishing at the event? Don't worry about that. We'll talk about that. Uh, yeah, no, we can worry about it, Mister. I'm Mister Jinji's biggest supporter. Where do you have him finishing? Uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll figure that out after the list. Oh, okay, yeah, because I feel like that's a very important context. But exactly, I'm gonna let y'all say what you gotta say. Like I said, I think Jinji pretty good. I think like top four is. A great expectation for them and if you kind of see how i have everybody else spaced out on my list it makes sense so yeah where are they seven a 17 base? 21 missing it's, exotic he is missing exotic i'm pretty sure which is probably that is one of the worst picks of all time or the worst omissions that might be the worst omission of all time um, he's I'm missing sure. Drally, we know mm -hmm. Yeah, at least when, with Drally, you can make so uh, you can say all oh, rookie land. I've, I'm pulling up three, by the way. We're uh, whoa, 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 we got we got TRK number three up here for, <laughs> for Yummy Cheese. He was dying to down my my list with a TRK on it. Zen's appearing at threes. 
I've got my monkey man personally. Top three. Man. I'm man, big oh on man. Falcons getting top four this land. Big, big on them coming top you four. You'd be big on getting top four without having TRK at number three. Right, that I is what like I that said. Checks, that that though. <laughs> it might out. be tough to have some of the individuals listed above, like first killer at four, um, if they don't come into the top two, just because people are going to remember the, the people in the grand finals. They have the most chance to, to, to see everything, but... I don't know. I, I've, I'm believing in Falcons this land. <laughs> I've I've had reasons to doubt in the past, but not this time. What? I What's see. what? Finley, Finley at three. I like I like Rise Finn up there. Is... I like Finn up there. Finn up there. Oh, uh, yeah. Finley at three is way better than TRK at three. I'll tell you that much. But uh, but nah, um, I yeah, mean... yeah, yeah. That, I mean, but like yeah. if the TRK was if a top Falcons three player top in four, the world for a significant portion of time. Yeah. Compared if, if, to yeah. Rise, who had what the winter major? Huh. I mean, Rise had more than that. I'm not saying Rise at three is too bad. I Rise think, is always good. I think know, there's if, a reason if I put BDS, him right? I just don't think if, if BDS do win, I think that, you know, or, uh, if, rather if KC do win, sorry. Yeah, I think um, Atto is going to look uh, better. Like a three, that's a big gap, three to nine for Rise and Atto if they're winning for me. But um, <laughs> yeah, Rise is really good. But uh, I, I think, yeah, he, he the when, when he came out like as the best player at LAN in winter, the 2022 winter was when he like had the goals per game all time record. And then he's not yeah. doing that anymore because he doesn't have to. He's a very adaptable player. And that's not what he's exactly. doing. Exactly. And that's my point is like Rise doesn't need to be super flashy, but like Rise in off ball is so impactful one of the most impactful players in the world the fact he can do everything in order to really set his team up to win whether it is being on ball or off ball but it's not, not too many players again. have you're, to, you're talking off ball, no because Atto. rise no because rise and atto the biggest difference between me for Atto and rise is defense Atto, if you look back on casey whenever they struggle on defense Atto is always really in really uncomfortable spots makes a lot of different mistouches the same things that rise excels at when he's on in the back end so for me rise is the all around best player for me i really love rise so that's why i have him at three over Addo. i think Addo on ball is one of the most unstoppable players that kc have because when he's on ball he makes everybody jump twice double commit all sorts of things but rise he's the one who gets all those extra necessary bumps he's the one who can slot a shot if he needs to and he knows how to just move and make really good adjustments on the fly so i i mean i had to put rise but isn't, isn't Addo like the bump per game number one player i don't know if he still is he was at the end of last season I don't know. I feel like Atto off ball. If you're talking off ball, mm. Atto's impact is higher. I think defense maybe, maybe rise, but, but off ball Atto yeah. might be the best in the world. I would say. I think he's insane off the ball. He just cuts about and r ruins other teams' days. But I, I don't know. We, uh, we, could, mm. I can see it. I, I think Rise has that in him. If it, if the team needs, I think Rise has the up. land land buff in him for sure. But yeah, it, it'll be if that, like uh, if he needs to if he, if he needs to do it. He's very confident. He's a super confident guy, and that's why if the team is struggling, he will step up. He'll just take the ball and uh, be more of an on the ball mm -hmm. guy and try and yeah do do more uh, um, actual scoring and outplaying. But right now he's a facilitator. And like, be honest with me. Be honest. Like, if somebody loses a fifty fifty intentionally towards their teammate who then solo plays like flip reset over one and you know double tap over a second, no one is gonna say unbelievable loss of the 50 50 there by that player like you can't tell me that you do <laughs> yes that. That, of course that is what obviously we're talking you're... about we're talking about facilitators but nobody actually ranks that come on of course well I yes do. people don't rank it but i rank it because it's about getting the goal but would you Rise rank it higher than about flip... scoring the goal but a flip it doesn't reset matter. double that context i said flip reset somebody lose a 50 50 on purpose to a teammate who then flip reset doubles over two players which player would you say was the the main player in that play I, think, well, I you, think there's a lot of players right now in the today's game that can flip or set double touch. But I tell you this, there ain't a lot of players in today's games that are self uh had the selflessness of a of a of a of a rise to then allow that player to go get the flip right. or set double touch. And then not only is he gonna lose the ball, but then he's gonna go take out another one to make you even more confident. Say, hey, you work in the mechanics, I'm gonna give you that airspace, I'm gonna give you that time. Players don't do that nowadays. No, it there's is, a reason it this is man important. plays for every team and the reason he wins. Okay, he is the great he is the best support player in the game. 
You know, he, he might be, but I'm saying like this isn't a support game. list. I feel like nobody actually looks like that. We don't see those plays in the in the highlight reel. Let's just be honest. There's no like highlight reel You're of right. losing you 50s. You... Maybe there should be, but like if, if Ryan's <laughs> losing a 50 to Atto, who then the clips on the everyone. The game is, though? No, listen, I'm just saying like if Ryan's losing a 50 to Atto to set him up and then uh, maybe steals a boost or something and Atto goes and like clips on absolutely everyone. Uh, you're all going to be screaming about Atto, not Rise. So, like, no, I don't think you that's can not, use that's, that not no, 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 no. that's not 100% true. That's not 100% true because you're, be it, you're right. The casuals will. But if Rise, if like, uh, I hate we're using this hypothetical, but whatever. L let's say Rise loses a 50, goes upfield, gets a bump, and then Atto gets that double flip reset play. But at the same time, Rise did three things in that play that really helped K Corp all in the back end, even though, and lead, led to them scoring. So, even then, it's like, I get your point. I do get your point. Having like those types of players are great, but in a great team of Rocket League, you cannot have everybody do that. So the per I'm putting a more of a spotlight because especially on land where people who play mechanically online don't really have that in land, Rise is going to give you that space to be that player. And no one else can really do that as well as him. So that's why I have him so high. Okay, I want to see. I want to see the the facilitation. Uh, what do you call it? Facilitation. <laughs> Let's just just get the top two. He facilitated yeah. well, we so one at, well. One at a time. Who wants to go first for two and one? Because it kind of spoils yeah, the, the yeah. one when we get the two. So who wants to go uh, first here? I you do. Volunteers. I can do yeah. first. I don't mind it. I feel You're like just, it's just going. Just pretty down predictable. The um, top two. Uh, that's. I don't see a problem with it. I think it's just. Come uh, on up next. Boring. Simple. It's correct. You're <laughs> 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 Throw mine up next, man. Uh, man, Yummy's right. gotta join y'all, so you might as well throw Yummy in there yep. too. I'm interested to see what CJ's yep. Boring. I'm Damn. interested to see what CJ's got. That's what I'm interested in. Yummy. Throw uh, Yummy's up as well. Okay, it's Veteran's yeah. in as well. Yeah. So I, mean, it's, I want to know what CJ's right got now. going on here. Now, CJ, <laughs> mm. there's two names left. I'm interested to see where you put them. There, there Ooh, they are. Ooh, Vati Daniel right there. Okay, I respect it. I can respect it. But you might as well throw mine up there too. I can respect it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he went ready to go. No way. I can't, I can't agree with you. Put Dan the man up there, man. Uh, he I doesn't think, have exotic. I think the last time we did top 25, I had Daniel up there just because I felt bad because people were harping on him because they were comparing him to Zen. But no, Daniel's back and he's actually at the land. And I'll tell you this, that young man, he's got a plan. He's got a squad. He's got beasts. He's got Atomic. You got Coach Safety. You've seen what they've done in NA. You've seen the freestyle. They've been playing absolutely spectacular ball. And I just think Daniel, he's upgraded to a whole nother level this year. Upgrading a whole nother level this year. I do believe by the end of the year, he will have submitted himself as the best player in Rocket League. And it starts in Copenhagen. It starts now. He's got to go up against everybody. I want him to go up against Carmine. I want him to go up against Vitality. I want him to beat the whole gauntlet. I want no excuses by the time it's over. Because that boy's got a squad. And that man's on a mission. And I do believe that G2 team, they're going to do some damage. I do believe the best three players in the world are Daniel Vatero, Zen, however you want to slice it. However you want to slice it. I think right now... Accolades, I still have Zen the best in the world. I have Vati second. I put Dan third. By the end of it, but by the end of this tournament, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel's gonna have to put himself in, there, in that conversation for everybody, not just my eyes. I love her every talking, time. This is still trash. No, I, I love her. Every it's good, but you left out exotic. Yeah, uh, you have fever and banana. Rally, 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 well, 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 uh, you got to think about it. Come in, Johnny hit it Seiko. on the nose. Hey, I mean, if they're going to make the list, if Johnny Lost. hit it on the nose about an hour, hour and a half ago. Because <laughs> that's why I left. Because he said if they're going to be on the list, they're going to be like 20, 24 anyways. So, 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 there's no reason for them to be on there at that point. There's no reason to be on there at that point. Might as well put Banana Hand and Fever on there. That's what uh, I like to see. I see. I've... You know I what I like the most? The most recent representation here. You know, you, you do have the most recent representation. You, I can't argue with that. And what I love the most about teammates, whenever you, uh, you know, start to go on a spiel about defending one of your predictions about usually G two doing well, it really is crazy how often it aligns with G two. Uh, when you do this but the first thing you do every time is you just remind us who's on the roster and yeah, every time you do that when you're like <laughs> Daniel number one you got Atomic you got Beast Mode I'm just like oh my goodness if Atomic and Beast Mode I forgot oh of course yeah thanks for reminding me about who plays for the team oh it's Sathya as well oh my goodness I totally blanked on that I don't see why it's, uh, you know I, I don't see why he's at one unless they're winning so I think we all know that they're winning for you um, that's, yep. that's like you can't that's a great speech bites you can't do anything else no, CJ, you almost Johnny had it. You has, Dan number one, but you didn't. 
Well, I tried. I'd like. Can I go next? I think we'll go oh, now. Yeah. Final thoughts. Everyone, everyone gets gets the podium. Uh, my final thoughts on my list. Uh, look, yes, I do have Dan at two. I think this is going to be the land for the the three best third men in the world: um, Vatira, Dan, and Zen. And if you look at my list, not only does it look beautiful, uh, thank you. Yes, it is a rainbow list. But if like we look rainbow. at the average placement for each team, yes, after I did the list, I ran the numbers and worked out that this is this is pretty perfect. Because if you're a bookmaker, you know, if there were betting odds, obviously we are not betting on this, but if there were to be uh, with the average placements, K Corp, fifth uh, total of, uh, actually, I'll just do totals because I haven't actually done averages, but total uh, ranking is 15. Uh, that's all the all the placements combined. They're at 15. I've got G2 at 25. I think they're the second uh, most likely. The reason being, yes, you can say EU are dominant, EU are the top four, but the rest of EU haven't got really got near K Corp. I know they've got close. I think you have to back in G2 being the best team in North America and the fact they haven't faced K Corp yet. I think they have a good chance to do it. I think they can get top two. And I'm a dreamer. I'd love to see K Corp versus G2 in the final. I don't think we want to see an all EU top four. I want to dream. I want to believe. Uh, third up, I've got BDS and Falcons both on 40. Now, if I flipped uh, TRK and Atto, I'd actually have BDS uh, third, clearly, uh, in their total rankings. I think they're the third, they're the third ranking team. Uh, and yeah, so I've got Falcons right there as well. I've got Fury at 42 and Vitality at 42. So they're all very close, but I've got a big jump. I've got K Corp, G2, and then your Falcons, BDS, um, what was Vitality. G2's and then I've got, total? Sorry, I forgot the number. G2's total was 25. So they're closer to the So KC I've got 15, the the 25, okay. 40, 40. 42 for Furia and 43 for Gen G. So they're just a one rung below at fifth in my rankings. And I think that if you're going to look at, uh, you know, probabilities for the major, I think that's pretty fair. You could argue at the end that G2 are way too overrated, um, but we just haven't seen them play K Cobb yet. And I'm a dreamer. I think they're good enough. I love their style. I love their structure. And I think Dan's got to pop off. I think we've got the clear top three players in the world are in my top three. So um, that's based on what we've seen from online. Now, if they don't perform, then are you are you yeah, worried that Gen G might shooting. have exposed them though in the third regional, beating them twice pretty handily in the second uh, series? They'd already qualified. They'd already locked in number one seed. I think that they 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 probably cooled down. But I think like Gen G, that's why they're right there. They've put themselves in the running. But I think the dominance from G two first two events. Um, I don't think that's I, valid I though. I think, think they wanted a three P. I think they wanted to do a Zen and Vitality done. I think that, I don't think they cooled down at all. I'd be shocked if they took that last event any less seriously in, before mm. or during. I'd yeah. be I'd be shocked. I think that they likely went completely less all in pressure for it, as all in. Yeah, and they also had less pressure. If anything, they should be playing even better. I don't know. I don't think I don't agree with that. I think I think Jen. Seth, uh, you said they took the foot off the gas in streams and stuff, started mucking around, weren't as locked in. So I'll, look, I'll take his word for it. As the, I think he's one of the second best coach in the world behind Farah. Um, so <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll, I don't know. I'll I'll think you're too, I think this is this is definitely like very very generous towards. It's copium. It is it's NA copium. But opium. as I said, I'm a dreamer, and I, I want to see cake off G two. What's that? I'm just confused how it's generous to G2. I don't get it. It's because NA just hasn't been close to EU in the last two RLCS lands. And for, you know, a team G2 to, you know, take two players who struggled at the end of last season in NA and Atomic who finished okay, but didn't have the best season either, to just imagine that they've jumped up to the top of EU level because they beat NA teams. It doesn't compute for me. I need to see them beat EU teams before I can make that jump. But when they, if they do, I'll make that jump. I'll gladly make that jump. I'll tell you, okay, this team's at that level. But right now, I have to speculate that they're not because they, yeah, they can, they, you know, they can beat NA, but EU is a different level uh, as of late, and it hasn't seemed like the gap is, you know, if anything, the gap's been growing, not shrinking. So this is a big. I'd say that would be a, like a statistical surprise because they, they've only beaten NA right now. They, yeah, actually, they played Oxygen. They lost to Oxygen. So I'm like, what is going on here? I don't know. I can't see it. I can't see it. I think they're yeah. going to struggle stylistically. I think NA has struggled stylistically recently in lands. And I think that is likely to continue. I, I hope that we don't. I hope we get an NA, Sam, Mina, EU top four. That's genuinely what I want to cool. see. But I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I just like to go more about the results. And EU's been dominant. So I have to expect that to be you know, a continuation. I also don't think it's out of the question to 
you know, believe that G2 will make a grand final. I think that's perfectly reasonable for somebody to go for. It's just maybe not not expected, but... Yeah, Johnny, that's what I'm you saying. Have- it is, it's, it's within the upper realms of, a, of reasonable, I'd say. It's, a, it's a possible. But it would be... And Johnny, you have, well, upset. you have Carmen Corp, like, absolutely blasting this land, mm-hmm. you know, looking undefeated, mm-hmm. maybe winning every single series and, and dropping very few games. I think I'm kind of the opposite. Maybe that's my hopium, is that it's going to be a close one, close grand final. Have the last uh, grand finals taught us nothing yummy? We can't keep <laughs> thinking the close grand final. We have to I dream. Want, hey, I want a game I, seven grand final as well, but it, it doesn't seem to happen very often, so I, I can't imagine it's going to happen. We had yeah. a 4-1, a 4-2, a 4-1, and a 4-0 last season, so no game sevens, and I don't think it's going to be think if you've, this time I, I don't know. I think if you've got Vitality on land and they make the grand final, they make it close. If G2 really are as good as they... They seem and they make the grand final. It should be a really good battle. And BDS, you know, they've been able to play close with with Carmine Corp at yeah. least once this split. So I think the teams that I'm expecting to maybe make that grand final, Falcons as well could possibly do that. I think if they make the grand final, they're all going to fight pretty close. But, you know, I think four of us I have. I think, I think if Carmine anyone but BDS or Vitaly makes a grand final, I think they just get 4 0 to be honest. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I'm, I'm just so <laughs> down. I'm like, I, I can't, I, I'm going to stop hoping for four threes. That's just, I'm, on, I'm being honest. I'm, I'm maybe yeah. a pessimist, but I'm, I'd rather anticipate a 4 0 and be pleasantly surprised when it isn't than, you know, hope for a 4 3 and then see another 4 0 where, uh, yeah, finals just seem to be less close on LAN. If history is to tell us any quick question though and this is kind of unrelated but does anyone know when g2 are going to uh, europe or if they're going to europe to they're become? there they're already they're there. there when did they get there did they fly in like yesterday today today, today. that's like actually when didn't gen g fly out today as well good yeah but wait if they also, fly today they're, here, they're there tomorrow pioneers just yesterday. tweeted that they arrived oh, they no, it's like a oh, so yeah. they must have flown yesterday if they're here today no, the flight is like eight, nine hours, depending on where you go from. Is it yeah, not an not overnight nine. flight, though, usually? Maybe it's not. Mm, no, because no, I think... like the morning. Yeah, they fly uh, in the morning. Ah, you can fly in the morning. Because, okay. yeah, Beastmo's dad was supposed to be on first touch, but he said they were flying out in the morning, so... Ah, uh, okay. That's good. That's that right. is definitely good, because, yeah, you, you can uh, you can adjust properly to the, to the, you know, the time zone fully and get some scrims in. That's promising. Yeah. Um... I don't know. I'm just, maybe I'm just too much of a pessimist. I want to see the the all regions top four. It's yeah. nearly happened in the past. I think we it's... nearly had it in London where Furia lost to KC. We could have had four regions in the top four for the first time ever, which I would have loved to see, but I don't know. I'm too uh, JB, the people, is the, the, the people want to do a poll so they can vote me as winning. Nobody's <laughs> we all give me our thoughts though. Is it does? Have you given yours? Uh, I'll, I'll make the poll. Oh, um, while yeah, you, while but you we that, never give our thoughts. I mean, I think like thoughts from my list were just like understanding like or at least for me i feel like LAN things are a little bit different than they are online but still also taking in online stuff to account uh being given like a little bit of space for different changes in the bracket because even though i think that certain teams like i have expectations for certain teams to do well like g2 and k corp i do know that depending on how swiss goes those top eight brackets could make a lot of matches happen sooner than later so just trying to be like also like fair to that and also being fair to the players who have uh impact without necessarily being in the spotlight for the most part which is like a big fa- factor of rise being up there um still having rattle in that top 14 because i think he's a great player on land uh things like seiko itachi so and then also like complexity i think they'll be shy fifth but i think crr is always going to be really good on land as a an individual so that was, that was just kind of the thought process for my um, I, predi- I also I wanted to. With the, with the gummy worms? Wait, this is a prediction. Why have you done you a, started prediction, a prediction? <laughs> Wait, oh is God. it the same thing? No, because no, now no. We, have to, we have to choose a winner, and that, the, somebody cancel, will win cancel. the beans. Wait, can I? Oh, <laughs> no, yeah, you just cancel it. You can cancel I'll get rid of it. I'll get rid of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I've returned the points. I've returned the points. We don't want to okay, hand cool. out. We, Sorry, Paul. That I'm would be a long prediction. That would be up for like a couple weeks. Since we're we're yeah we're finishing up now. I wanted to address, so I, as I said, I tweeted uh, <laughs> that this might be my last one, uh, and I didn't expect it to go onto Reddit and it, for it to be a big thing, um, but I'll just give a little bit of context there. I was just meaning the last top 25 rankings, just to give some kind of context, like obviously, well, after six years of doing RLCS, 
I never, I didn't even get a single message to tell me that I'm not involved anymore from Sonics or Epic. That has me obviously in a spot where I know that I'm not, there's not anything there for me, but I still want to be involved in the Rocket League community. This event, these ranking streams are literally the fav my favorite thing to do. And there might be a chance that I do come back. The reason I said this might be my last is because I haven't actually been watching. This entire list is just a complete malarkey. I haven't watched pretty much any of NA or EU this entire split, and I still have the best list, <laughs> uh, which is crazy. Um, oh, and man. my thinking is that I don't want to come back and be like misinformed and give me a uh, give a bad list and and stuff like that. Johnny, have you seen you know, the other list, Yummy? There is no <laughs> chance. We, I, I wouldn't matter if you didn't watch a single How series. You, you could still rock up and beat T-Bates. You could. You I could beat T-Bates no, no, if you can't. Okay, he's not insane. beating me in the polls. He's not beating me in the polls right now. But I'll tell you this, TJ, I don't understand how you are 50% because- What's wrong with my list? I think they're judging me because I have Daniel at one, but I think if I swap, but my you Daniel, think that's the only problem? You don't have Johnny. What? Daniel, what? Then, all a sudden, then all of a sudden it will change. You think that's the well, only reason no. you have Daniel? What do you think that's why nobody's watching? You've got fever and list. banana head. You've you, got you don't have exotic CRR and Raisin, Itachi, Juicy. You don't have Drally. What is going on? You don't have Lost. Like, no, I, I, I can't one believe mistake, this. Though. I do believe Lost is supposed to be on this list somewhere. I definitely had him typed, but then I guess I must have deleted lost him when him. I read you my list. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, <laughs> like, Lost was supposed to be on this list. I think he's supposed to be somewhere. Well, in that, in Yummy's that, beating in that you now, by the way. He's he's pulling yeah, away from I, you. Yeah, because I brought attention. I brought attention to it, and now everybody, all the little trolls, trolls are just. No, out it's because we reminded <laughs> everybody the players you did not put in your top twenty-five, <laughs> and now everybody's like, "Wait, that's true." He tried to pull the wheel, wheel over our eyes. He just thought that we weren't going to notice if he didn't put them in here. No, we know. We we we're onto you, Bates. But uh, no, Yummy, it's uh, it's been a, a pleasure having you again, and you've been pretty dominant recently. So it's nice of you to like not watch this split to let someone else win because I think you <laughs> won the last mm. two. So even yeah. though, yeah, uh, even uh, any time, uh, honestly, any time. Yeah, it might have uh, been in my head. You know, I could be convinced to keep going uh, because these guys have been saying that it doesn't matter if I watch it or not. I was kind of more afraid of doing a bad job than. Uh, if any, no, if, if anything, wanting to come and do these. I don't think that's a bad thing. You can, if you can do a, ba a bad job and then defend content. it, that would be great content. Um, uh, I mean, on, outside of that, you know, I'm not, I'm not really streaming around <laughs> streaming Rocket League anymore. I am looking for a job that hasn't been super successful. Uh, but uh, I want to treat Rocket League now more as a hobby and something that I can just have fun with everyone. And sometimes that means not either waking up early or doing streams where I watch NA or EU back because I can do whatever I want now. Just okay. living. No, well, yeah. there's no way we're going we, to we're, we're gonna sub you out. I mean, as you can see, you basically got third on the list. You haven't even watched any rock. <laughs> um, and at the end of the day, we, we can all be – people can be more informed than other people, but we're all probably going to be wrong, and it doesn't really make a difference. Again, it's just predictions, um, just a bit True. of content. and. And we're just having a bit of fun. One in chat if you've had a bit of fun. Can we get some ones in chat? We know Johnny, Johnny Stream loves the ones in chat. They I mean, like come on, the top 25 list. How good are they? It's they good fun to hang out with the chat. boys. Yeah. yeah, it's been good to have you as well. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. We should it. make sure that there's stuff scheduled two hours after the beginning every time as well, because I felt like it was a good, it was a good length. Well, yeah, like we for, for once, we didn't really hit any early roadblocks. I feel like, he, he, honestly, T-Bait's clutched up here, because usually he just puts like Exotic at 25, and we're stuck on 25 for like 10 minutes. But this time, he just didn't put him in the list at all, so we didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> we just didn't know how bad it was until we got to like the top nine, and we're like, hold on a second here. <laughs> There's not enough space. <laughs> that was the that was the chick that um that Daz started, you know. If you're not gonna if you're gonna put someone low, you're better just not putting them on the list it's at all. And people oh, forget. Nobody oh. knows. I just, understand how, I just don't understand how I've lost this vote because I mean I got all the international representation. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it's almost two years to the date. Like it's, it's almost two years to the date. Remember when I had Atomic as my number one two years back before LA happened, and everybody's like, "Wow!" But trust me, I think I got something special going on with Dan right here as well. Y'all see, two years to the date, I got something special happening. Special happens. At these lands in the, in the months of March. Well, and I got bits, you can't spell denial without Daniel. So uh, I think no, nobody's really surprised. Okay, we'll see. We'll he did see. put Daniel number one the one time that he wasn't even at land. So it's not a surprise. That's true. That is true. <laughs> Hard to do, but he can do it. Yeah. DJ's got 46 you did pull it off. 
I don't know how, though. You have no OCE players. You didn't even rep your own region. Uh, well, well, again, what is it? Like, why do we need these prerequisites? Like, I have to have an OCE player in there. You have to be Pitbull, Mr. Worldwide or something. I don't know what's going on with you at the moment. This has been a massive switch up. One, well, guys, two, how many we, NA players? We one, are, two, three, yeah. Five, eight, eight, actually, eight. Is, is so all, many. All except, uh, yeah, all, all of the G2 Gen Gs and a couple of OGs as well. Um, so yeah, basically LG are terrible according to T-Base. Uh, <laughs> couldn't make the top 25, even though every, pretty much every other NA player did. Um, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. LG are great. We all love LG. Can't wait to see them uh, at LAN. But I don't want to, uh, yeah, I don't want to uh, keep these guys any longer. Dazrin and Yummy do have to go, so we're uh, we're gonna end here. And we're about to start Chalkcast. Me, CJ, and T Bates as well is going to hop on the uh, Chalkcast with us for a little bit. And we're just going to talk about uh, other stuff that's been going on in Rocket League, not top 25 related. So thanks to you guys all for joining again. It's been a pleasure as always. Been a long time, um, actually, since we did one of these. So it's good to good to do one. And uh, yeah, see, see us all at LAN. And Yummy, I hope to see you at LAN at some point this, this season, genuinely. Um, since you're not at this one, we've got to get Yummy along there. We've done is it. The next in the one in OCE. Is the next one in Australia. Let's go, I, I, Sydney. I, I, I'm down. I'm <laughs> I'm so down for an OCE land. But yeah, thanks, uh, thanks everybody for watching again. That's it from us and uh, Chalkcast coming up in a couple minutes. We'll see you later.